Yeah. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to the show today. Nice to have you here. Hopefully, everybody had themselves a good weekend. We're doing aliens, uh, you know, space, uh, not border. Uh, although I do imagine Alan will give us some illegal alien doing something. Um, you know, <laughs> uh, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, but nevertheless, uh, we're going to have ourselves some fun today. Uh, we, we broadened it up. I'm sure we're going to get plenty of xenomorphs. Uh, but uh, there are a lot of things, and uh, I can just, uh, I came up with a couple little bit of ideas here for you. Uh, of course, we have the predator alien thing, you know. You know, uh, that doesn't make any sense that it's together. But when you own two things that you, you, you could do whatever you want with it. Right. Uh, yeah, then, of sure. course, uh, we have the classic weird spacey uh, Isaac Asimovian, you know, Asimovian aliens. Uh, but uh, my favorite, the greatest alien of all time. Uh, and I know some of you might say that uh, my alien, the neighbor. No, not or my neighbor, the alien. That's right. Not that no. one or, um, you know, some of the other famous ones. But no, no, no. Of course, it's Jeffrey Combs Schron uh, from uh, Enterprise. Best ever. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Nice to know you got a favorite. Well, you know, well, Jeffrey Combs is just absolutely amazing. Uh, he is my favorite, uh, um, <clears throat> my favorite actor. Uh, but I, you know, aside from Nicolas Cage, because Nicolas Cage gets all the love, he just vacuums it out of the room when he walks in. You know, uh, but Jeffrey Combs, he comes in a real close second, though. Uh, amazing actor, under underappreciated, I believe. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Uh, uh, my favorite uh, Martian. I'm sure we'll get some of that. Lost in space, possibly. Uh, or uh, ice pirates? Anybody? Anybody? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. 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 Well, what, about, what about humans that are spacefaring? Okay, now that's just a cop out. You can do better than that. Yeah. No, you can. Mm -hmm. You can because uh, for you, uh, the obvious mm -hmm. choice for you is okay. uh, Lilo, but not Lilo Stitch. Oh, all right. I mean, that's yeah. the an alien. Yeah. Yeah, he's an alien. <laughs> an alien. He, you know, he's a, I don't know, he's I've a, never watched it. He's a genetically engineered alien. Uh, but there you he go. is alien. And yeah. he stole it's a true. spaceship. He's a criminal. <laughs> Throw some critters. Oh, critters. Oh, There's some good aliens. God. Eric, get on that. That was my other choice, you see. But... Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, see, they're close. <laughs> That's not that, like the easiest thing. They're just like fairy balls, right? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Make yeah. a couple like of triples for uh, uh, critters, and you're good. Right or crites, as they uh, are properly crites, uh, yeah, crites, yeah, called. sure. Uh, <laughs> awesome stuff. Uh, all right, cool. Well, uh, you know, uh, we're going to start here in a moment. Uh, we'll give time for more people to pop in, but uh, whilst we're doing that, uh, I'm going to go talk to Andrew. Uh, we haven't Hi. seen Andrew in a while. Happy to have him here, uh, and he's got the best idea ever. Uh, well, second best. You know, the best would be to do you know Jeffrey Combs as Sharn from Enterprise. That would be the the number one. No, Andrew, oh. Andrew's going to draw Thundercats because they're aliens. No, no, no. He's I, doing better. It's kind of true, isn't it? Better. I know it's awesome. Go ahead and tell him what you're doing, man. Tell him. Tell him. Go ahead. I, go ahead. Well, for, first go ahead. off, I, I actually was going to do Thundercats, but I figured that would be far too much of a cop out for me to just do that. So, so I thought of a different '80s cartoon instead. Actually, '90s maybe. I think '90s. Yeah. '90s. Uh, yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna just go do Biker Mice from Mars. Yep. Oh. That's a great. Idea. That's a great idea. And to to be clear, though, and to be fair, Thundercats would be viable. They are aliens. Yeah, they are aliens. They they show up on Third Earth. Alien that is not their planet. That's right. Have we ever drawn Thundercats? Uh, had a Thundercat episode? Oh. No, I we haven't. I and I've no, been waiting I, for a have. long time. Oh, wait, are you sure? Maybe they did on mics because I remember drawing Mumra. No, oh. yeah, no, no I fighting, guys. We don't need Mumra. the fur to fly. Yeah. Well, see, I got this book in the mail this week, and one of the stickers was like a uh, you know Thundercats sticker, and I thought it'd be kind of fun <laughs> maybe if we drew Thundercats next week. Wow, yeah, Thundercats cool. are cool, man. Uh, yeah, I don't mind. Cool. I grew up on it. Yeah, Thundercats yeah, are cool. Good stuff. As long as someone, I know we have we have done it before. You know, uh, what was the cool book you got, Eric? Uh, what is it? It's right here. Uh... Solarian Sun 3. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, story and art by Andrew Fleming. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's, that's nice. There we go. That's nice. That's good that's stuff. Fancy. And uh, am it's I wrong? Thick. It is thick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of thick, um, Eric, am I wrong that uh, when I was young, I had uh, certain Twitter patients over a certain Chitara? Uh, yeah, Chitara was pretty hot. She was smoking. <laughs> Yeah, for a naked cat lady. Yeah, I know. 
she was naked. <laughs> until, she, until she put on the unitard when she got to Earth. Yeah. 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 Damn it. Oh, uh, yeah. And then oh, they you know what? Also, yeah. I got something else last week. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Yeah. I got some coffee cups. Ooh. I don't know what ah. that means, but okay. I'm, well, no, I'm no, no. So, someone in this uh, in, in the room here sent me Wizard of Oz coffee cups they found. Oh, Aww. that sounds like an Amy have, thing to do. No, Honey did it. I know it. I and they it. have the art from like you know the original. Uh, uh, when's Dinslow? Dinslow. Oh, the original stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They, Who did that? Like, they're, up, they're up on my wall right now. Do we get to see? Who gave you a no. gift? No. <laughs> Someone did. Aww. A very old man in this room right now. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, mm-hmm. Yeah, that one. Well, there's only one. Wait, old we, have, we have to narrow it down a little bit. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Andrew. <laughs> Come on. Um, uh, Alan, uh, welcome, Alan. Just so you know, we're doing illegal aliens. You know. So. so I'm just doing a family know. portrait. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. What was that, Amy? So, so Stitch would count because yeah, he's, he's a legal alien. Technically, gonna... all aliens would count because if they're on Earth, they're illegal. Hmm. I don't think we have United yeah. Nations laws that that uh, give out, uh, uh, you know, intergalactic, uh, you know, passports. Yeah, we don't really have like a galactic like like tourism board or anything no. like that. Like, no, yeah. no international. And honestly, not anyway. that we know of. Not that we know. Well, of. that's, that's true. true. Not that we know. Of. It's probably in Antarctica. That's where it's at. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if there's a separate port for time travel. Well, we we shouldn't put the United Nations in charge of that anyway. They're incredibly stupid and corrupt. What a combination. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't see how it could go wrong. It's pretty bad. Anyway, uh, I'd say it's uh, almost. Oh, we still got two minutes before we get the we get the the yakuza kazoo. All right, work mm-hmm. on that. Go find yourself some yakuza music. You need that, Jeff. Yeah. Uh, but uh, let's see. Well, Elrond hey, is... y- what yakuza music? Yeah, yeah. Go find it. You'll figure, you'll figure it out. It's called yakuza. Yes, sir. Yeah. I've been watching a. Uh, uh... Shogun, it is awesome. Yeah, not gonna, not biting, not gonna. So bite good, it. so no, I'm serious. Yeah, no. I've been told to watch it too. I'm Don't gonna check it out. It soon. is, Care. it is amazing. <laughs> and, and and you won't have to read the subtitles, dude. No, I wouldn't. Uh, but that's yeah. not the point. Uh, no <laughs> Disney. I have noped out. It's, it's technically Hulu, Fox. But I don't know if it's, uh, but yeah, I, I guess that's Disney, Disney now. Disney. But, yeah. Yeah. No Disney. Everyone's uh, telling me, "Oh my God, the Fallout thing is amazing." Oh my God, nope. That is that is good too. I really, nope. I watched all that. I the Fallout that. is good. <laughs> it's Dude, like no, a care. It's more of a uh, prediction than it is a show. Uh, fair enough. Oh yeah, true. But I would rather Chester watch uh, Shogun so he could uh, give us his you know opinion on the accuracy of the era. I really it like Shogun, story. but um, it is the fiction. If you watch, though, so. yeah, it's historical fiction. But if you watch, did, did anybody watch Marco Polo? It's very, very similar. Oh, yeah, Marco. That, was good. Like, that was yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, it is based on that, an actual right. historical event. Like I said, the boat that that uh, brought the Dutchman uh, landed just just twenty minutes north of me. Not even twenty minutes. No way. Like now? That's crazy. Well, a long time ago. But I mean, you know, it, it literally landed right over here. So, uh, but uh, but yeah, no, I'm <laughs> I'm I'm boycotting the the Disney's. What? Do it. Yeah, it doesn't matter if you boycott; you just torrent it. <laughs> yeah. You know, I'll give you my password if you want. It's Jeez. about principle. Thank you. Yeah, I downloaded it to watch. I ain't watched yeah. it yet. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Jeff. I'm not going to pay for it. For waiting sure. on that uh, Yakuza kazoo there. Well, you the one who's a blah, 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 blah. Going and, okay, whatever. <laughs> Go. What? <laughs> that is not very Yakuza, sir. I got to. I, I, I am not. I'm not looking up Yakuza. Yakuza yes. music. I, I don't want to die. It's called Anka. Yakuza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was Yakuza. There you go. Wow. Oh, my God. I need a cappy, Amy. Oh, she's hey. so proud. Damn it. 
Uh, all right. Um, anyway, we've started, I guess. That's our go. Uh, welcome, everybody. Hopefully, we'll get some interesting draw-alongs today. Keep in mind that this is Aliens in general. Uh, you could do anything you want, including Xenomorphs, of course. You could do Xenomorphs. Uh, <coughs> arguably one of the more famous aliens uh, in the zeitgeist of the world. Uh, but I don't know yes, if it's yes. the number one, though. What, who would be, or what would be, the most quintessential alien outside of the Greys, of course? Uh, you know, oh, the Greys. <laughs> alien, well, the, the alien from Alien. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah. Xenomorphs, it's, it's in the running for sure. But if we're, e. we're thinking oh. movies, TV, um, e. all time, Mork. right? The Thing. Mork from Mork. The Thing, Mork. Oh. Uh, yeah. My favorite Martian. To... My favorite Martian, certainly in there. Um, Dave, Dave says Shumway? Mexican Mexican Xenomorph. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I can I throw my hat in a li- just just a little? I don't know. You yeah. guys might disagree. Uh, can we my, actually stop you? Well, no. But he, yeah, he, there. Well, I go ahead. Throw your um, hat in. His name is Spock. Did I just said Star Trek. Okay. <laughs> now I think Leonard Nimoy was yeah. bought was born in this country. Okay. You're disappointed. Technically. He's only half alien. I know. That is true. That's why I hesitated. Dave says Alf. Well, that's who I'm doing. Yeah. Oh, God. There we go. Never, we got an Alf. Superman counts, by the way. What was that, uh, Jason? Uh, Superman uh, counts. He's he Kryptonian. Does. He is Kryptonian. Oh, yeah. Back. Oh, right. oh, yeah. Mm, that yeah. might be the winner. That might be the mm-hmm. most famous alien, huh? Pro- yeah, probably. Ooh. It probably nice. is. Yeah, because even if you go to, like, the back waters of Africa and South America and India, they know who Superman is. They don't necessarily know what a xenomorph is. <laughs> that's just that's, a point that's It is, good. but it's true, though. <laughs> it's true, though. Yeah. It's a monsters. Yeah. <laughs> now, I was, uh, now, I was actually, Marvin uh, the Martian. Marvin the Martian, yeah, now there's another one. Yeah, I actually have a coin of uh, with Marvin on it. Uh, but actually, I was in Thailand, uh, uh, long, you know, decades ago. Uh, but I was in Thailand, and I took a slow boat up the river and down the river. But anyway, uh, we went up to Ayutthaya, which is this famous ancient, you know, pyramidal temple thing. And uh, uh, went up in there, walking around. Of course, you know, it, it's a tourist spot, but it, but the things around it are like little teeny Thai, vi- Thai villages. I mean, old style, little teeny, you know, super poor Thai people. Um, mm-hmm. they, they're uh, they're probably not there anymore because Thailand's been just booming for three decades. Uh, but <clears throat> but it, it does stick because the Superman thing sticks in my head because uh, it wasn't Superman though. It wasn't Superman, but it sticks in my head because there was a little boy, and he was selling statues. Uh, he had a pair of dirty shorts, uh, broken uh, <laughs> flip-flops, and a Batman oh. shirt. Nice. <laughs> and a Batman shirt. And I was, like, literally living with no electricity, uh, no flush toilet, in the middle of a freaking jungle, and he's got a Batman shirt. How does that happen? What? Yeah. Are people, like... Are there charities that bring like clothes to other countries, maybe? Or he stole it, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, those are the same people that get like uh, championship shirts from the other team that didn't win, but they made the shirts right. anyways. Mm-hmm. Just in right, case. right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. So when all the, uh, like the Batman, the universe. Batman v Superman voting was happening, who's better, Batman v Superman? Superman won, and they got all the Batman shirts. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, it was just, it was the weirdest thing, dude. You know. Yeah, that would be. They probably voted for the purple Eminem over there. Like they didn't know what was up. Oh right, that's true. Man. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Uh, but you know, not knocking on them. I mean, they seem really happy people. And like I said, they probably don't even exist now. I mean, Thailand is just radically shit changed itself in the past 30, 40 years. Uh, but well, um, I mean, hopefully, he grew up and is living a happy life somewhere. Well, the Thai are some of the happiest people you'll ever meet. Mm. Um, no, I'm seriously. Uh, they're just constantly smiling. Uh, I mm. thought at first it was a law. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, no, no. They just they're smiling, happy law. people, man. Well, it's a very safe place. They got great food, plenty of it, right? No. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, why not be happy? Be smiley. They're happy. They're just happy people. It is called the land of smiles, I guess, for a reason. Uh, That's why they make so much movie about Japan? crime. Maybe because they're bored. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is there much crime there, or is it pretty safe? No, it's thing? it's a, well, Asia in general is a very safe place, uh, but uh, no, it's it's really safe. But, but also the re one of the reasons why is because you do not you do not play with the Thai police. You do not. Ooh. They don't. They're they're yeah. quite serious. Yeah. Um. So therefore, there's no crime, <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah. If, the, if the laws are severe, mm -hmm. then uh, if the punishments are severe, the crime will be low. Mm -hmm. You know, that's true. The problem we have here in the states to let everyone yeah. loose. I think it's more along the, the lines want. of the more aggressively those severe laws are enforced, yeah. the yeah. less crime there will be. And I'm saying the... that uh, we should bring caning to the U.S. That's all I'm saying. Hey, mm -hmm. man, it, it, Singapore is an ext one of the safest places on planet Earth, right? And it, then you now you talk about all this nonsense with diversity we see these days. Go to Singapore. They got every race on the planet, right? And that's in that because basically just a city. It's basically if Manhattan were a country, right? <laughs> um, but no, they all got every, well, they got every color There's you more want. <laughs> Food's good too, but boy, is it expensive. Pad Thai. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but no, Asia is a pretty safe place, uh, girls. If you want to take an international vacation and your money spends pretty well, uh, come to Asia. Mm -hmm. Nice. Japan and Singapore is really awesome. expensive, but every place, play, don't go to China. No, don't go here. Yeah. Don't but, go any place communist. No, uh, no, no. Vietnam's nice. Go there. Yeah, that, that I was gonna say that would cut out Vietnam, and Vietnam's all right. It's just kind of dirty. It, a little bit, although they built like four or five tourist cities specifically for us, uh, and they're gorgeous. They're just gorgeous. Yeah. Uh, because Singapore the, is immaculate, right? I understand. Singapore, it don't don't drop any litter on the ground. They will beat you. It's a crime. It is crime. Yeah, and they'll literally cane you in public. So don't do it. Um, yeah. So, but Singapore. But I mean, our, do we have any litter bugs amongst us? Nope. Looking at you, Eric. Well, I do throw a, throw a cigarette out the window every once in a while. Yeah, I never do. <laughs> I always. I that's grew it. Up, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. I grew up with a military father, so I military military strip everything. I bring my uh, cart, my shopping carts, back to the uh, uh, to the barn, so I'm a national hero. Yeah, you are. God, I hate. I hate it when you get shopping and people back. leave them in the car park, man. That's so annoying. It is. And it takes, what, yeah. 30 seconds to do it's it? It's like, I know, I don't understand. You see, it, I'm glad I didn't know that it happens in every country, not just England. We also have people that try to take them home, too. Oh, oh you do, you do, yeah. And, and we've um, got, I, I, in St. Louis, we have a few different grocery stores now that they have a uh, lock on the wheel. Oh, yeah, the magnetic if it gets, lock? If it gets past really? the parking lot, it locks up. Yeah, that's crazy. yeah. <laughs> Some somehow though the homeless people still get them out. Like the, oh, yeah. it's always like they're pushing them around on the side of the road. Yeah, put it, put it in your back and turtle it, I guess. Uh, but um, <laughs> uh, but <laughs> here in Japan though, um, if you have a, a, an amount of uh, you know uh, purchases that is of any weight or size, uh, one of the workers will will get a cart and will attend you to your car. So we don't really have, par you know, carts in the in the parking lot. So, mm, well, but you probably don't go shopping yourself anyway. You send one of your people to do it, don't you? Well, yeah, of course. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, you know. But they don't have to carry their groceries either. <laughs> no, they don't. Yeah, yeah. No, and usually people just get because Japanese will shop daily for what they need for that day. They don't weekly shop like we mm, do. Right. Yeah. Mm. You just don't see car. I mean, you were you were in a different part of Japan, Andrew. Did you see carts everywhere? Oh no, absolutely yeah. not. Um, but uh, granted, I was in I was in walking distance to a lot of places. So like, whenever we went to the grocery store, there weren't any carts anyway. It was just you just went to the grocery store, then you walked home, kind of a thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was nice. in Osaka. That Peaceful. was when I was in Osaka. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's nice. 
Uh, but, uh, yeah, no, when I was in the States, uh, that car thing always pissed me off. I mean, it literally it takes you 30 seconds. What's wrong with you? It's right there. It's right there. Yeah. It's funny. Where we are, where they have cart returns that are in the parking lot itself. Like, it's a little place where you can kind of push them off to one side. And sometimes people just go, it's full. And so they'll just designate, like, one other space that's kind of marked off. And everybody goes, okay, you're a new cart return place. And then they just kind of build their own. Well, so it's fun. like one parking that's, yeah. or, that's organization. That's fine. That's, yeah, that's true. That's what they, they try. I think the ones that have the most success are like outside of Aldi's. They've got the ones where it takes a, costs a quarter to mm -hmm. get the cart out, and you get your quarter oh, yeah. back when yeah. you put it sure. back. It's, you it's never see those stolen. Yeah, well, like, people want their damn quarter. Their, yeah, they want their that's quarter. Right. <laughs> people want their quarter. Well, Alan is doing Alf, and he's thrown a little bit of um, uh, Dagwood in there. I appreciate it. <laughs> Am I, how many how many people know who Dagwood is? Anybody? I know um, the name. Talking Sequest? Dagwood and Blondie. Yeah, 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 yeah. Blondie. Yeah. Are you talking about, are you talking about Sequest? No, God, no. Blondie. <laughs> that was that was an inappropriate reference, sir. <laughs> of Dagwood and his sandwiches. And his sandwiches. Jason making an inappropriate yeah. method. Okay. And okay. people don't. People no also don't. People don't know. Well, probably a lot of people don't know, but um, Dagwood and Blondie was actually a uh, TV show at one point. <laughs> no, I do remember some, uh, at least some shorts. No, that's true. Yeah. But, uh, I think it was a TV show. It might have been a short, but but yeah, they they had that. very successful series of movies. Yeah, oh, was it? Yeah, so I do remember Dagwood seeing him moving. Uh, but uh, Dagwood uh, from Blondie, he's the husband, uh, and uh, he gets up in the middle of the night and makes himself sandwiches. And the joke is that the sandwiches he'll just anything that's in the refrigerator, he just layers it onto a sandwich. It's these weird. <laughs> it even became a thing. A Dagwood is is a, just a weird com combination sandwich. Uh, but uh, Alan is making a cat sandwich, of course, for Alf. Oh. As you well, Alf likes cats. It's his favorite food. Hmm. You're kitty, kitty. Never watched Alf, huh, uh, Amy? Uh, I can't really say so, but it's kind of strange that he would try to make sandwiches out of cats. That's it's his favorite. He's an alien, and his favorite food was cat. Huh. Yeah. I wonder what cats look like from where he came from. I mean, was that like, uh, did it seem like a familiar kind of animal? Or? It is true. I always wondered how he knew that cats were his favorite food, seeing that he was an alien. Well, I kind of. I don't remember them explaining that in the cartoon. No, I, I, I don't. It was one of those things that doesn't need explanation. The joke is. <laughs> right. He eats cats. Hmm. Yeah. They I ended that. Uh, they ended that show on a dour note. Oh no. Yeah. I don't remember how it like ended. It... He got captured by. He the gets government taken by the government. To be, uh, to oh be, my uh, god. Dissected and experimented yeah. upon. Yeah. Oh, kind of like oh. how dinosaurs ended. Like, mm -hmm. like yes, oh, that. Yep, they all died. Yeah, <laughs> they all they're died. dead. Yeah. All your favorite characters, oh, they're dead. Um, the apocalypse. <laughs> not the mama, not the mama. Yeah, that was a great Jim Henson work, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, good stuff, man. <laughs> Fraggle Rock too. Now, uh, dinosaurs. That I think that was he had his hand in that a little bit. That was before he died, right? Before his son took over. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Another one we lost way too early to stupid reasons. Yeah. Well, if you're going to the doctor. Yeah, right? Yeah. No, seriously. Really? Mm. He died from being a workaholic. Yeah. He did. He did. Well, you know, I lost uh, uh, a friend of mine um, uh, in a similar way. Uh, uh, well, friend. Uh, he was a bandmate. Actually, that's a better word. Uh, but I was part of the, um, uh, the Rhode Island Youth Stage Band. And mm -hmm. uh, it basically had uh, the best, mu you know, jazz musicians from around the, the state, right? Um, and uh, we had a trumpeter who was freaking phenomenal. I mean, really good. Uh, he, got, he got a fever, and then mm -hmm. the next day he died. <gasps> Jeez. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Did the sign us? No, his, I, I, I don't even know. We were kids, so they probably didn't tell us. Uh, oh. I, I didn't know. But I know that his fever like spiked at like two, 110, 112 or something like that. 
Oh my gosh. Holy cow. Yeah, no, yeah, it was really bad. He just got sick, and then the next day his fever had popped so much that he died. His brain melted. Yeah. Out of nowhere. Oh, just, you know, Jim Henson. Uh, but, uh, but, yeah, that was rough, dude. It, because he was a high school kid, right? Uh, but he was really yeah. good trumpet player. I mean, phenomenal, right? Already gained all that skill. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, things like that, sad things like that happen. Actually, all my childhood <laughs> friends are dead now. Just me. Oh, no. Yeah. Sounds like a sad song. Yeah. I should write a country song. It's really what I should do. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. A friend of mine's brother just died uh, l- last week. And I knew I knew his his brother was sick. I'd never met his brother, but uh, mm-hmm. I looked at the obituary. He was the same age as me. Oh wow! Yeah, yeah. Hmm. You know, we gotta have to we have, we have to do a duo duet a country song, Eric. All my friends are dead except for me. <laughs> you remember all your friends from the Civil War? Or? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just the yeah. ones that wore gray. Yeah, Taylor was the one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know the funny thing now, is, my uh, ancestor was a Confederate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, we probably have all of us have veteran ancestors. Uh, but uh, I'm I'm a weirdo because my mother was certainly blue and my father was certainly gray. You know, Rhode Island. Oh. You know, and Alabama. Oh yeah, that's yeah. true. Yeah. I, they do I, things differently down here. They do, and I had to travel every year at least once, if not twice. And of course, we lived there for a little while as well. That when I was there, they did not shut up about the South Pole rise again. <laughs> My God! <laughs> really? It's like, what are you rising for? The Pledge of Allegiance. Ah. Duh. Ah. Duh. Ah. Chicken, sir. Yeah. Of course, it, it would have been nice Honestly. if my dad had told me that I wasn't supposed to associate with black peoples. That would have been nice. Mm. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, how else are you going right. to get teeth, huh? Now, seriously, I made. I, I was a northern, a Yankee, so already I have a, and I'm a real Yankee too. Uh, so uh, I already had a major strike against me. Uh, but uh, my first friend I made was a great piano player. His name was Charlie. Um, wow. And uh, I, he was just a great musician, and I was into music, and we just became friends, right? Uh, the black people aren't, uh, they're pretty racist too uh, down there, but uh, they weren't so hateful. Uh, but oh my goodness, the amount of a, a literal physical attacks that came at me for daring. I can't say the, what they call me here on YouTube, so I get in trouble. Oh my yeah. goodness, that's yeah. awful. It is awful. Yeah. I mean,. <sighs> I'm glad you made a good friend, though. That's... I did, and then he got his head shot off by a shotgun. I was about to say, is he dead now, too? He is. That's, uh... Did you forgive your father for that? No, um, uh, that was a stupid mistake. Basically, uh, there was this landowner, and uh, his dad was a sharecropper. And the owner of the land didn't want them burning off the land for some reason. Right? It's his land, right? Uh, but they were. Hey they God, you are from the Civil War. <laughs> <laughs> so they got. They were arguing on the street. He actually pulled them over. He pulled in front of his car, and they were. He was arguing with the uh, Charlie's dad on the street, arguing. Uh, and uh, Charlie's dad had a gun. And he put his hand on it, and uh, one of the other guys was with the, the landowner. Uh, you know, took a shot with a shotgun at him, but he completely missed. And Charlie was sticking his head out the do- uh, window at the time to see what was going on. Ooh. Oh no! Oh yeah. my God! God. Yep. Jester, you're a dangerous person to know. Yeah, well. Um, yeah, I'm starting to see a pattern of of all these <laughs> things. Now we know why all your friends are dead. Yeah. Because <laughs> you were there. the face, and you're to blame. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. Yeah. So yeah. Well, the world is full of. Has it been 15 minutes yet? Shit. Pointless tragedy. Yep. No pointless. <laughs> ridiculous. I've seen you know how many dumb, dumb things I've seen in my life, Amy. Oh dear. Oh yeah. <laughs> too much, I think. Oh, way too much. Yeah. Just ridiculously stupid stuff. The, the stupid monkey tricks. <laughs> stupid monkey tricks. Mm-hmm. Oh. Anyway, aliens. Aliens. That's Never met aliens. One. aliens. Never met one. Um, uh, although I do have my, I, UFO I've dated a few aliens. Yeah, well, 
I've done that too, and technically I am an alien. That is fair. Mm -hmm. uh, but we're you know yeah. we're we're sticking to space, not border here today. Oh, um, okay. yeah. Uh, nope. Although I, I do well, I have my know. well, I do have my UFO experience. Ah, I do. Right. In person, not with cameras and, and very bad shot there. Why are they always so poor quality photos? I know, right? Uh, of all the times you were you abducted? No, but I was duck hunting. Duck probed. Oh. I was duck hunting in a blind. <laughs> I had all my decoys okay. out. It was a super cold day, and I was just sitting there waiting for the ducks. Uh, okay. And I heard a weird noise, and I kind of stuck what my head out the blind a little bit, and I was sitting on the side of a river. And I saw this really fast moving thing that was below tree level, just right, right across the uh, other bank of the, the river. So, yeah, I don't know what it was. It was a duck. Was a duck. That was a What's wrong with you, was a duck. No. That was a big was ass there, duck. Was there, miss, was there missing time involved? And no? was there a pro? No, no, no. no I, it was probably oh, yes. a fighter jet. But, but the buck, okay. it's still, it was. It was moving real fast, and I could not uh, identify it. Therefore, unidentified. Exactly. Mm. If it was and flying, it was and flying. you couldn't tell what it was, yeah. mm -hmm. then you guys smoke cigarettes afterwards. No. You get his number. No, it was just me. I was I was not alone actually. Uh, but um, could you walk? It was a weird experience. I just assumed it was a fighter jet, super down? low for some reason. Did you have uncontrollable <laughs> bowel movements afterwards? No. No, it was good. Rectal you bleeding. feel like you're, you, we were fulfilled as a man. No, I didn't get any ducks that day either. No, I guess you feel as a man. Mm -hmm. It must That's have scared the off duck. the ducks. It must have. It had a sudden urge to redecorate. It was a duck conspiracy, man. Am I the only person <laughs> that has seen an object that I could not identify? Just me. Oh. Well, I, I, I have, so I have, I kind Perhaps of have a story dark. like that. But, okay, well, let's hear. Like, uh, so I, w I was just driving home one day, going down one of the dark access roads, and uh, I don't, I don't really want to call it a UFO. Like, I, c I don't know what it was, but I texted one of my friends, and he was like, "Oh yeah, it was probably a piece of copper falling from space." But I, I just, I was as I was driving home, I just looked up into the sky for some reason. I don't know why. I just happened to look up in the sky in the right time. But this green. Like, like, kind of like how you would see a shooting star, yeah. Except yeah. it was coming, it was entering the atmosphere, and it was just sparking green off the back of it. Oh, that's cool. Uh, cool. It was, it was, it was one cool. of the coolest things I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> it, it looked like a firework, but it was, but it was like going downward, you know. And it was, it was neat. So it was, I, I'm probably like a piece of copper or something flying through the atmosphere and burning up, but it was still cool to see. <laughs> well, we live not too far from. Um, you know, the, there's this uh, Cape Kennedy. They've got those spaceships and stuff out there. Right, right. So, right, right. <laughs> the rockets. And I think mm. it's, they don't have the shuttles anymore. It's whatever that new one is. But anyway, um, so if you see something in the sky and you're kind of like, I wonder what that is, you just kind of assume it's probably a space shuttle or mm -hmm. whatever, the, one of the new rockets that they're making. But we were driving home once. And it was just, I looked out over the road and there's this red light and it was just flying up through the night air. And it kind of seemed to zip around, and it just made this shape like a big phoenix, and then just exploded into like fireworks, and then just kind of turned around and just kind of went around and took off. I'm kind of like, huh, that's new. Because you see a lot of, yeah, that was, like, yeah. That, was that was different. <laughs> I'm like, I think they're supposed to be having a night launch for one of those mm, SpaceX, SpaceX, SpaceX things X's. or something like yeah. that. So. I guess yeah. that's what that was, but you're kind of like they don't usually do that. Interesting, but you know. Oh no, those things would be cool too. Uh, yeah. I was, uh, I had very uh, similar thing. I was driving my son into town for uh, he was going out, going to be out with his friends, and I've just come. To, we're coming down the mountain, and we saw what looks like this just kind of static candle flame in the sky. And Ooh. it was weird. And we, I'm, I'm driving, and we're both keep, kind of keeping our eyes on it as we come down. And mm -hmm. when I got down the bottom of the mountain, it was gone. And we were like, we looked at each other. It was like, okay, then. Okay, um, that happened. It happened. <laughs> and we went on with what we're doing. Uh, and we didn't say anything to the to the girls. Uh, but uh, the next morning, uh, we found out it was a um, uh, it was a Korean uh, uh, moonshot launch. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Huh. Okay. That's. Yeah, I guess random space stuff happens sometimes. Yeah. Hmm. That's neat. When we were 
Um, my mom was telling a story where they were at at uh, Disney one time, and it was like we we're there to watch the fireworks, and they they weren't quite started yet. So I guess this was at Epcot. So you're looking up at the sky, and there was a shuttle taking off, and that wasn't too common to do at night. So like, oh, yeah. that's cool. So everybody was just kind of staring at it, and there was a um, family of. Well, there's tourists all over Disney. I guess it kind of goes without saying. But they were kind of like a family. And they were kind of looking around and they were staring at it and kind of looked at each other. And they turned over to one of the family members and said something to her. And she walked over to a mom and was kind of like, excuse me, what is that? Pointing up. And she said, oh, that's the space shuttle. They're having a night launch. And she went, oh, and ran over to her family and said something. And they all went, oh. And I'll start mm-hmm. taking pictures. Like, oh, that was yeah. cool. Yeah. yeah, see, it doesn't Maybe. have the Japanese. Identified. What? Could be. Were could they Japanese? Japanese? Were they Take saying, I saw, I saw a oh, lot? Take a picture. Would you call me? Oh, it's a paper. Oh, you know, special tour. Well, when I was in Taiwan, I thought I had seen an alien, and I realized I hadn't uh, because I was sitting down eating at it, like in an outside cafe. Um, and uh, the food's killer, by the way, in Taiwan. You know, I I suggest nice. it. I, it is. Yeah, it is yeah. very. It is very good. Um, <laughs> I do love. Food. I had one of those little pork uh, things with the spicy uh, chilies and the vinegar. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Um, anyway, I was sitting there eating uh, with my girlfriend at the time. You know, mm-hmm. now my wife. Um, and uh, I saw over across the street at another table sitting down uh, a, 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 a thing. And it, um, <laughs> it, its skin was stark thing. white. Its head was large and bald. Uh, and it had pink eyes that were cutting through the darkness. And I was like, I told her, I said, look, an alien. Then I, uh, when I finished, I walked. She, uh, the, it was a girl, actually. Uh, walking across the street, I realized that oh no, it's just an albino. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't frequently see. Uh, I'm not. Sh- I think I've seen an albino person, like, like in person, like maybe once or twice. And we have yeah. a lot of people yeah. around here. That was my second so time is- in my life. The other oh. one was a black person. They usually the snakes. That's true. That's true. <laughs> but it was a large headed, uh, bald Chinese albino with pink eyes. Mm. Yeah. Human? Weird. Yeah, well, I, 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 I had no really Chinese. Sure I it. it was right. weird. But bless her How little heart. Like... Yeah. Betty yeah. Davis' eyes? There no. you go. Mm. Hell yeah. Ben Davis ben- 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 was a looker, man. <laughs> Has anyone else ever seen an albino close up? Yep, no. that's mm-hmm. I'm pretty close. I mean, I stayed indoors a lot. Um. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, technically, there's a lot of Albions in here. Yeah, fair. Um, I have that um, that possum skin tone. Oh, fair. Yeah, fair. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 Alan I, sounds very nice today. He does. He's clear. He must have got a, must right. got a cheap mic. Yep, it's keeping together. That's oh, awesome. They wanted a cheap mic to be on the other channel. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, oh. All righty. All right. Hey, oh. Hey, oh. I didn't say that, Mike. I got nothing against Mike. I love you. <laughs> Mike uh, doesn't watch your channel. I know. I know. I know. Uh, <laughs> no one does. No. Oh, well, someday you'll get monetized, Chester. Will I? I don't know. Uh, I'm You're actually, almost there. I am, if I could get, what, 18 uh, more people. But the problem is, I've been at this stage many times, and then all of a sudden, I'm back down to, like, 800. Yeah. We should have had Rob Liefeld on. Oh, that would have popped up some. Oh, that would have yeah. been awesome. That we offered. Seven thousand. I mean, we had we had generic Rob Liefeld, uh, Dan Fragon. So we did. Well, that's well, true. Yeah, I mean, he's a way better than Rob Liefeld. Come on now, he's generic. Well, yeah, but he's an amazing artist, though. Um, but um, yeah. Oh, yeah. um, just mm-hmm. you were telling me your favorite alien was a Star Trek character. Um, yes. I well, how? 
I think that Picard. actor plays a lot of different characters, he and does. I'm not sure if I got the right one. His oh, name, his uh, name, he does play many Star Trek characters amongst many other characters. Uh, but the one he oh. played that was phenomenal and, you know, life-changing uh, was mm-hmm. uh, Shran. He played an Andorian uh, commander on Shran. the show Enterprise. Gory. The oh, name Jeffrey, Jeffrey Combs. Combs. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The great Jeffrey Combs. The great and okay. mighty. That came up with uh, no. a surfer, first, so I think I put it in wrong. Shran. S-H-R-A-N. Shran. Okay, Shran. I can even no, spell not. made up words. I am the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, like the word expert. It's like I you're am. a philophilologist. I am a philophilologist. That's true. <laughs> you are a phlobotomist. Oh, I love falafels. Hippopotamus. <gasps> What's your recipe? Falafels are good. Yeah. Although I do prefer waffles, though. Mm, waffles, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, Love dude. Waffles. 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 Uh, well, actually, my f- current favorite waffle uh, is uh-huh. there's a place uh, <clears throat> that you can find at uh, a lot of the malls in Japan. Uh, there's mm-hmm. a company here called Morozov. I know it's a Russian name, but you know Japanese love to do that kind of thing. Uh, but they make mm-hmm. sweets and confections and things like that. Uh, mm-hmm. But they have a Morozov Cafe. Um, oh. And um, they have a few things on the menu, but mainly they have almond waffles. Now, what mm-hmm. they do is they, in their batter, they will put uh, little pieces of almond and chunks okay. of sugar and not overmix it. Mm. It is very good. Does sound good. Yeah, but it also costs like, what is it, like 15 bucks or something like that? <laughs> How big are those waffles? Are they the ones that are sized? It's overpriced, Amy. Oh, okay. Do you put syrup on it after? Your waffle in price. Well, they give me a. Um, uh, this, this is a good thing, though. The web, uh, you know, because I smile and I get uh, my aura exudes. <laughs> um, and um, but usually, <laughs> what they give me is a, a thimble of syrup. And what? I kind of smile at the waitress and I ask her, "Can I have two thimbles?" And she happily brings me one and you know, secretly gives it to me. Shh, between, hey, baby. Between the bowls. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, it's way overpriced. <laughs> Give me an extra cobalt if you want to live. Well, Magical is, monster man. Right, I know. I know. It's evil. Uh, but uh, you got to understand how the Japanese work. I guarantee you there was a laboratory somewhere that uh, made those waffles and uh, calculated down to the uh, micromilliliter of exact amount of syrup that was appropriate for the right taste. I guarantee it. And it's measured. Mm -hmm. It's measured. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, it's measured. Umami. Flavor profile. Right. (laughs) But here's the thing, Amy. I got my two thimbles from the cute little waitress. And I put them on with glee, and then I ate it and realized, nope, nope, one thimble was the right amount. <laughs> so they were right. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Here's your second thimble. Do you think he eats it? Yeah, but just throw that. They're all watching you from the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh yeah. Hmm. Was nah, the surf good? Like a. Uh, that's how they are. Huh? It's like a blood sport. Uh, it's like a blood sport betting uh, poster in the back, and everyone's there's a bunch of large dollar bills up, mm-hmm. <laughs> trying to see if you uh, survive. Can you get it? I guess if there's like, I guess they must be fairly sweet waffles then. They are. Uh, they do. They put little chunks of sugar in them. Uh, but um, uh, it, they're excellent waffles, though. They truly. Are. I, hmm. I think. There's they do crepes. They do crepes all over the place, but I'm not a crepe person. My daughter is. Yeah. Oh, nice. well, we know you're not a crepe person, but crepes are good. Mm-hmm. Crepes are nice. I've had crepes. That was low hanging fruit, mm-hmm. Elrond, just so you know. Crepes. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. All right, testicle jokes. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> Go ahead, Amy. I had crepes. I think. Last time I could think of having crepes was at um, what was International House of Pancakes. Mm-hmm. They, they oh. were um, hmm. I hops. Yeah. Oh, I hop. Haven't been one of those in decades, man. Are they still any good, or are they just you know? Oh no, they're they're so no, great, they man. Blow. Are they? Oh, good. All right. I, I think I, I just must have had I a. Got a... 
It was. Yeah. I'm from LA though. My nose is pretty high up in the air. Oh, fair. <laughs> that is fair. Uh, but uh, well, because I've seen the Waffle Houses have gone downhill a bit. Oh uh, no, it, no Waffle House doesn't go no, down. Never down. Society <laughs> just goes up, and Waffle House stays the same because oh, Waffle House exactly. is awesome. Waffle yes, House well, is the awesome, man. I do love the girl who caught the chair and then threw it back. That was great. That was amazing. <laughs> You're like, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, Waffle House is amazing. I, I absolutely love Waffle House. Uh, and it's so much cheaper than going to the gun range. Uh, you can ask them to throw two chairs at you, Chester, if you want. <laughs> you just have to smile. I've never actually been that's to Waffle number three. House. I've been to IHOP. Before. Can I get a number three? Like, all oh, two chairs? Are you sure, sir? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you're ready for that. Well, actually, when I was young, I think the best, you know, of course, the best waffles are grandma's waffles. I mean, let's be sure. Oh, heck um, yeah. But um, uh, the best out waffles I think I ever had were at Big Boys. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Nice. Do, do There's no waffle houses Boys? out here. I don't, I don't I know. No, they're all gone. No, close no there are still a few left. All the hipsters yeah, stole the statues, between. and they're like, "We gotta close down, boys. The statues are gone." Oh wow! Well. They took Bob. And they took. They took. They took the. They took the statues. You know who had they another place that was a pretty fair uh, 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 waffle, but they put cream on it, which I'm not a huge fan. Was friendly. Mm. Yeah. Oh, friendly! Yeah, I, I like friendlies. Like three of those left now. Yeah. 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 Maybe like the last. Another the last place that Jimmy Hoffa ate or something like that. I don't know. Maybe did they find him yet? I know. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, what was his name? Guillermo. Guillermo. Gialdro. Guillermo del Toro. Gialdro. 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 Some little uh, Latino dude is like yeah, a news reporter tried to find his body, and he didn't find it. Geraldo. Geraldo. Geraldo Rivera. Yeah. Geraldo Rivera. Yeah. Little Mexican guy. Yep. Hmm. I and maggot with a mustache. They were going to open this vault. Of, Jimmy Hoffa's body's in here, and it was a whole live thing. I remember, and then nothing, nothing. It was out the uh, pond. Yeah. Yeah. Then they went in, and it was just like a empty basement. <laughs> yeah. yeah. As it's if Al Capone was going to tell people where the treasure was if he had any. Well, he might have had more luck. <laughs> the... Go ahead. If I was a time traveler, I would have put Pokemon cards in there and really fuck with everyone's head. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he would have had better luck going after Escobar's uh, hit, you know, buried uh, uh, dollar bills. You know, uh, Escobar's hippos are taking over uh, Colombia. That's awesome. Yeah. Hippos? Yeah. He had hippos. pet hippos and they just kind of like wandered off. Yeah, he oh, was no. a slightly <laughs> eccentric drug dealer. A little bit. Well, yeah. if he kept hippos, I dare say. Did he have a moat full of hippos instead of, like, crocodiles? Yeah. Yeah, he had, like, a bunch of hippos. He did. Because yeah. he's like, oh, hunger, hunger, hippo. money can buy me anything, even hippos. Well, <laughs> he had so much money, he literally was burying it and, and, and putting it in various places because he didn't know what to do with it. So. And people it's were starting weird out looking down. Right, yeah. Well, drugs pay. You know, the CIA knows. They got a great yeah. thing going on with that uh, whole heroin stuff. It seems like America's ever. Well, yeah. yeah. Then they went after Escobar because he was the competition, not a criminal. That's true. Mm -hmm. They shot him dead on a roof. Oh. Yep, Weird Al Yankovic shot him dead. Mm -hmm. That's right. Him. Yeah, that's right. All the movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mess with Weird Al. No, I guess not. But it was Madonna's behind it all, I think. Hmm. Did you feel like you came in the middle of something? Weird Al Yankovic? What? That documentary must be pretty funny, though. Yeah. Well, Weird Al's awesome. Yeah. It's called UHF, the documentary, by the way. No, no it's that, called that's called That's the movie. Weird is... Yeah, Weird is the movie. Or, or is uh is like the, the new biopic doc docu yeah docu biopic thing you guys uh, I which is Harry Potter making a joke <laughs> it's okay okay well you have to understand that there actually is a Weird Al documentary 
yeah, but I'm sure it's not accurate. <laughs> no, that's the funny part about it. Yeah. No, he is a genius. Let's be fair. And the, you know the funniest thing about we uh, Weird Al is you know he made he found his niche and made his thing and he's become an icon, right? Uh, yeah. But um, the interesting thing about him is he is a he's not a pretty guy. Uh, although he, he I mean, he's cleaned up a couple times, but that dude mm -hmm. can sing anything. He's got a great mm -hmm. voice. Yeah, he actually is a really good yeah, musician. He's a really good singer, yeah. Listen, yeah, that was what was funny is he's like an actual talented composer and musician. Yeah. yeah. My favorite one is the one that's uh that's uh the American Pie uh, uh Star Wars uh, uh parody. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my, this your Anakin guy. Good. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, yep, that one. Yeah. They're I love the mashups, by the way, I'm seeing here, guys. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> now, weird, talented guy. Yeah, I like him. Yeah. Yeah, and he seems yeah. like a genuinely nice fellow. Yeah, I've that's... I've never heard anybody say something cross about him. Yeah. That is basically what everybody reports about him, is that he's like, nope, that's that's him. He's He's genuinely a nice guy. Yep. <laughs> yep. Yep. Not a weirdo. I guess he must be if his career is making fun of other people's work and everyone still likes them. Well, <laughs> and, and I would say the bigger challenge is playing the accordion and 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 still being liked. That that's that's the amazing miracle that has happened here. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. Well, that's that's what's kind of funny about it too is is the the badge of honor that Weird Al has made a parody of your song. You know, yeah. it's just like, oh, Weird yeah. Al made it. Amish Unless Paradise. Unless you're Coolio, then you get missed. Yeah, yeah right? He was like, well, he, he, his song was serious, guys. Oh, this is a serious song. Uh -huh. Nobody can <laughs> nobody can do that my song. I wonder if Coolio's ever been to a, 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 a Puff Diddy party. <laughs> I think a lot of people were. That's the that's the big that's the big scandal. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's well, awesome. well uh, Denzel Washington had the had the skinny on it. He uh, he said, uh, "Well, here's the thing. There's a trick to a Diddy party. Uh, leave early." <laughs> oh, yeah. Hmm. So Denzel, Denzel Washington's a Chad. He, Don't well, be Diddy. Is, I mean, come on now, uh, Denzel well, Washington. Yeah. And the weird part is too that. is is Justin Bieber told us a long, long, long time ago exactly what was going on, and nobody listened. Paid attention. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's Bieber. I mean, that's why. Yeah, they probably thought he was just trying to get clout. Yeah. Yeah, poor he kid. He got the uh, lyrics to Baby, Baby, Baby from Diddy. Oh, my. Yeah. He whispered hey. uh, behind him. Yeah, the thing is, he uh, Bieber's going to get a lot of sympathy now, and it's fine, because the kid's never done anything wrong. I mean, not to be honest, uh, he's, he's, you know, he's had some messed up things he's did, but we can kind of see why now. Uh, but yeah. Um, yeah. It, it'd be, he's one thing I appreciate about Bieber is he's always been honest. Uh, I am stupid as a rock and I know it, you know, mm -hmm. I respect that. Yeah. Well, then, yeah, and then, and then he like, up basically. Well, I mean, it, there's a lot of them that fall in that category, uh, but like Katy Perry. Has anyone seen her speak? I'm shocked she can breathe. <laughs> I mean, that's one of the dumbest humans I've ever seen in my life. I mean, my goodness, dude. It does seem like that field just destroys people. It, or just dumb people, the ones get caught up in it, right? Well, I mean... When when giant industry moguls need to have a new puppet, you can't have a smart person do it. It has to be a stupid person. I suppose so. Right. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. But, I mean, they, they dug deep in that bag, though, for Katy Perry, man. You know. <laughs> I mean, goodness gracious. So, so oh, it's shockingly stupid person. Um, and I remember her first little song that came out. I kissed a girl, and I liked it. Okay. It wasn't yeah. her. That was her. That no, was, that was Katy Perry. That was her song. What are you talking about? That was Katy Perry's song. I remember seeing that was her. Katy, yeah, song. Katy Perry's like, you're so gay. It was making fun of gay people. Now, who no. did the I kissed the girl and liked it then? That was like 20 years before that. Like no, in the 90s. that was definitely Katy Perry. Yeah. You ain't tricking me. No, no. it was Katy Perry. It was Katy Perry. Nope. It was. I remember. You're thinking of 
like Jill Sobule or something like that. Perry. Perry, I'll go check mm -hmm. it. Yeah, Elrod's just messing with us, though. Just understand. <laughs> He's like, you're so gay or something like that. Yeah, that was a good one, too. Yeah, but that was a long time You could ago. never release that now. <laughs> You're so gay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't listen to Elrod. He's a troublemaker. Um, who did that uh, You're So Gay song, though? That was way back, though. Six, seventies, maybe? You're so vain. Vain. think this song is about you. Yeah, You're So Vain. Yeah. Don't you? Don't you? Let's see. Katy Perry. Katie no, just that? trust that I'm correct. Katie, it's no, it's on. Uh, it's oh, on. Only so. Simon did your so vain. Yeah, yeah you're so vain. But there, no, Katie, that, it was on I Katie Perry's. That. It was on Katie Perry's album, One of the Boys. Yeah, no, it was I her first. Yeah, her name You are so gay. Like the, the letters U and R. Oh, I see. I see. Yeah. Uh, now, uh, I I think it would be hard pressed for. Yeah, that's on the same album. That, Carly Sam Simon was not an early transgender. I mean, honestly. Hey, 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 hey. What? <laughs> Carly Simon is a very attractive woman. No. <laughs> she was married to, uh, no. uh, God, who was it? The, not James Brown. Um, James uh, Taylor, the wife beater. So you yeah, find uh, Tom Petty James attractive, Taylor. do you, Eric? <laughs> if there weren't ladies in here that I respect, I would tell you something Aww. about Carly Simon. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, uh, this... oh, you're welcome. Did you want us to mute? <laughs> no, 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 no. No. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. It's okay. I'm going to help the chat out a little bit. I'm going to help them. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, here, the amazing Jeffrey Cohn. Uh, let's just take a look at uh, his love. Rupert affair. Holmes was an ug ugly dude. You want to look at an ugly singer? Good grief. There are some ugly ones. Um, like, uh, for instance, uh, one of the greatest female voices of all time, Sarah Vaughn. Not very attractive. Yeah. Janice Joplin. Yeah. Oh, wow. Base oh, for radio. Uh, now, this, uh, uh, now, of course, uh, these days, uh, Carly is uh, looking a lot like the Aerosmith lead singer. Uh, but, you know. <laughs> Maybe she always was. <laughs> Maybe she always was, yeah. Because, I mean, it's hard to tell the difference, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, even young Carly looks like a dude. Dude. Yeah, she, right. kind of she was a fan of the show. Dude. Yeah. Looks like a guffling. That is fair. It does look you're like just, a You're yeah. just confused because she has Mick Jagger lips. She's, no, mm -hmm. I, it's, the, it's, the, it's the jaw and the face and the forehead and, you know, all of that. Yeah, she might be a nice lady. I have no clue. Uh, but uh, attractive, not the word I'd use. Yeah. Well, I'm sure no one shines as brightly as your dear wife. That's Sorry, course, she's not pink true. lady. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Uh, to be fair, though, in all these pictures, she's smiling. So, hey, that's a happy Aww, lady, man. That's awesome. It is awesome. Of course, these days, she, she looks like a, a, a demon from the uh, ninth layer of the pit. But, you know. Oh, does she look? Does he have the cat person face now? Yes. Dude. She get all the work done. She oh, does, and so it's bad. pulling way back. That 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 smile is way back deep into the face, man. We're getting to ear territory here. And she's got a big mouth too. She Ooh. does, uh, and, and she really looks like uh, 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 you know Stephen Tyler right now. Stephen Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, I don't know. I don't know. Is Tyler, Tyler attractive? attractive? No, uh, but uh, his daughter. That's why I Damn. said his daughter, Liv Tyler, because yeah, well, she looks just like him. No, she does not. Oh, no, she, she does looks not. exactly she like does him. Not. You need corrective lenses, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you like Liv Tyler, uh, I think you like Steven Tyler, too. Uh, Those manscaping Steven problems. Tyler is a very attractive yeah. old grandmother. Come on. <laughs> he, Dude does look like a lady. <laughs> Very good. Like if I saw him in public, I'd be like, "Ma'am, do you need help with grocery?" I tell you what. Oh, dude. thank you, young man. That guy, ma'am, you, you dropped seven of your scarves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that right? But no, that guy. Help his scarf, man. 
Um, Aerosmith, man, back in the day when I was doing the Eastern Circuit, they, you know, uh, some of the guys I, I was, you know, that were in the tour became famous bands, right? Not all of them. Uh, but uh, at that time, Aerosmith was already mega hot, right? Already, right? Uh, and occasionally in some of the bigger clubs, we would see them, right? So oh, I've cool. actually been backstage watching Steven Tyler do his thing. That guy mm-hmm. is a freaking phenom. No, it's it's impressive to watch him work. Uh, first of all, he's constantly and always perfectly in pitch, perfectly, uh, which is not he's an not easy kidding. thing to do. Yeah, no, those no, there ain't no recording going, lip syncing going on there. Uh, but just what he can do with his voice and the athleticism of his voice, uh, it's impressive. Yeah. I've seen that he can play like multiple multiple instruments, which has always no impressed me. Yeah, I, I've seen him play piano, but not, nothing else. I've seen but, him voice in the hundred meter race. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, I'm just saying, as far as people I've seen live, his uh, uh, vocal ability is very impressive. Uh, another person that falls into that category, which is I'm sure none of you like, but uh, there's a heavy metal band called uh, Judas Priest. Mm-hmm. And uh, their lead singer there, what's his name? Rob Halford. Rob, yeah, Rob Halford. Oh. My God, dude! Seeing oh. that, seeing him live and what he can do with his voice is shocking, man. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. You're so used to things being touched up and redone and stuff like that in recording. And if you ever saw somebody actually sing, it would be like, oh. Well, okay. back in that day, they didn't have any of that stuff. I mean, the hmm. best thing we had back in those days was, like, overdubbing. Uh, but that's just doubling the voice to create a chorus effect, right? Uh, which can help oh. uh, hide uh, pitch problems. It can help, right? Uh, but we didn't right. have any of this uh, uh, auto-tune and uh, all these various things they have now. It didn't exist. Uh, but, yeah, no, Rob Halford is the real deal, man. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> you Did you might get not... to do... Um... Yeah. Did you get to do much vocals and stuff like that when you were touring, or is it pretty much never. just the saxophone? No. Oh, never. really? Yeah. Oh, cool. Yeah. No, I only did that when I came to Japan because I was um, I was pl- doing a a, a a festival up in Fukuoka. Mm-hmm. Um, or no, was that maybe it was Fuji? I think it was Fuji. I was doing it because mm-hmm. when I came, they put me into a band uh, of mm-hmm. like all-star Japanese um, uh, jazz I'll musicians, right? And uh, 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 we call the band Cornucopia. And um, cool. uh, we toured around to different places in Japan. I think it was Fuji Rock, uh, or maybe it was the Fukuoka Festival. But I don't know. Either way, uh, I was uh, sitting backstage <coughs> talking to Dave Matthews. And uh, he's a really nice fellow, okay. actually. Well, he seems kind of lame when you see him like do interviews and stuff, but he was pretty nice. Um, mm. And I asked him. Uh, what he mm-hmm. thought of the band, he says, "Wow, the musicianship's amazing, but you need a singer." Really? Yeah. Oh, interesting. And he was right, so I, I just said, "Fine, I'll do it myself," and I did it myself. <laughs> nice. And they said, "No, no, different singer." Different. <laughs> you know, we said a real singer. <laughs> not you, singer. Hey, man, uh, you know, I, I know my limitations. I'm not the greatest singer ever, right. but, uh, <laughs> but I put a lot of work into it to be able to do it uh, live. You know. Singing yeah, is fun. Absolutely. I do agree with that. Yeah. I, I, I also had to be the singer in my band when we had bands. So. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah. But I I'll, blame I Dave Matthews. Was, I'll it's do his it. Fault. I'm sorry. What? Of course, my I wife was geeking out. <laughs> oh, good grief! Just yeah, like, you know, oh. women. <laughs> yeah, they seem to really like hits. Dave Matthews. Yeah, they, they, he's sexy. They like him, dude. Uh, but she was geeking out over that. My and Keanu Reeves, my wife is insane about. No. <laughs> that's good. That's great. Yeah. The the thing is, is I, there is no female that I'm the same way about, though. Right. Salma Hayek. Salma's a pretty girl, but yeah. Yeah. Stephen Tyler. Mm. Stephen Tyler. <laughs> yeah, Stephen Tyler. You, you <laughs> You into the oxygenarians there. You, you, it's your thing. Yeah. Jesse? Yeah. Have you heard of a of an album called uh, Mint Jams? Say it again. Mint Jams. Mint Jams. Mint Jams. Not yeah. offhand, no. Oh, okay. It must be a different band. Sorry. <laughs> what band were you thinking of? 
Uh, I'll have to look it up, but there was this album I heard. It was like a Japanese jazz band, and they had this album called Mint Jams, mm-hmm. and it was really good. So I just, mm-hmm. I, I go look it up, and, and I thought Cornucopia sounded, sounded familiar, so I just wanted to see if that was the band that, that the album I'd heard of. Oh, no. Um, uh, we had a bunch of kind of classic covers. Uh, there were a few originals I wrote. Uh, one of them was uh, Yu Nagi, um, and that one is the one that got the most uh, airtime. Uh, that song it is a beautiful song um and uh for quite a while when i first came to japan i would hear it in elevators you know you've made it you know you've made it when your song's in an elevator but it was the weirdest thing man i was in like what inspired you to do a thanksgiving themed band uh well cornucopia meaning uh, lots of different people together in one basket you see mm-hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. um but no, it was the weirdest thing. You hate pumpkin pie. So. What do you, What was that uh, era? I said you hate pumpkin pie, being I a do. communist and all. I, you know, I do. That is fair. Yeah, but uh, but <laughs> uh, actually, I was up in Fukuoka and I was in uh, I was in the um, I think it, it wasn't Big Camera. Andrew, do you remember what the other big tech store in Japan is? It's not Big Camera. It's the other one. Yamazaki. Uh, Yamazaki. That's fine. I, no. I can't help you with that. I don't know. Uh, Yamazaki. I think it was Yamazaki. Anyway, I was in the elevator uh, going mm-hmm. up, and <clears throat> I was listening to the song. Uh, I was just in there, and my, my ears were like, that's awfully familiar. Tells you, huh? Yeah. Like I said, you know you made it when you're in an elevator. It's funny sometimes when you're out and about, and there's like, music playing in the background somewhere and you're not particularly paying attention and then you just start humming something that seems familiar and you're like wait a minute where did that come from <laughs> right yeah that's true yeah oh, so you ever play so love in an elevator like, no that would be fun though i figured out where i went wrong it was cassiopeia not corn oh cassiopeia Sorry. okay yeah yeah okay. Hmm. i still want to check out your album Yes. Uncle Peter. <laughs> so I got one around here somewhere. Yeah, the box of them. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm no, going to sort that out myself. actually <laughs> not nice. Yeah. They it didn't, they didn't, they don't understand the pain, Rabbit. <sighs> well, I mean, I'm not selling you CDs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Could, Especially because they're not cheap. One, <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, the funny thing is, t shirts you sell out of all the time. It, but the CDs mm-hmm. sell slow. Well, I suppose it depends, though. I mean, depends what you do. Like, an idea, people like CDs, people still buy them. Quite re- it depends on which you sell them for, I suppose. Right. I mean, I, like I say, Japan's a different place. I mean, maybe it's a different thing. Maybe they prefer different mediums as well. I mean, some people prefer just to buy vinyl. And a lot of people now like tape as well. People are going to cassettes now again. Cassettes, well, really? Uh, yeah, well, the bet the the best album as far as sales, CD sales I ever had, was uh, Volume One of uh, Chet Busby and the Wildcats, and um, yeah, that was a rockabilly. <laughs> I know, I know, you can laugh it up, uh, but uh, that uh, uh, that was a rockabilly band. And uh, Google, I go. Yeah, and uh, no, uh, 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 it, no, these are sold at uh, at the at the event, right? I have a little table. Oh my and, you know, yo. CDs and, and shirts and stuff like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, basically, yeah. the people who bought out all my CDs at every event that I went to were Yakuza. <laughs> I don't understand the Yakuza obsession with rockability, but it is a thing. Because it's cool, man. Rockability seems to be a popular thing in Japan generally, though, I feel yeah. like, whenever yeah. I see okay. stuff about it. Yeah. Boy, it's good music. Well, I'm embracing the uh, LA gangster culture. Maybe. Uh, but, uh, that was certainly the most Google profitable. has failed me. Well, I mean, and like I said, they were sold at, at the event, dude. It's not like I... Published. Everything's on yeah, Google. Yeah. You, guys, you don't have a Spotify yeah, or guy who... No, I don't. The guy probably just got arrested, Eric. Yeah. Uh, no, in Japan, uh, other than Cornucopia, which I didn't put together, someone else put that together. Uh, I was, I'm was i mainly just a lounge jack, dude. Hey everybody! Welcome to the ski resort. Yeah, I'll be here all week. Yep. Yep. Well, I'm Leisure Suit Larry. I have never done those. But, uh, 
Mainly in live houses, but it's fun though. Yeah, it's good to get a chance to get out and play and it is. not just, you know, lose that. I do art shows sometimes once in a while just so I can keep painting and it's right. it's good to recap with that. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And you get a lot of old ladies drooling over here, you know. That's what, that's what. <laughs> yeah. Chet Busby. Oh. Do do? I hey, did. Chester, it's your age. They're not old ladies anymore. They're just ladies. Well, that's fair. That is fair. Yeah. It is, it is the curse to be adored by women, but all of them being, uh, uh, you know, 50. Silver foxes. It is. Uh, I'm going to be popular at the old uh, old people's home, though. I'm telling you that. <laughs> Much to the chagrin of your wife, I'm sure. Right, right. right, right. Let me uh, take off this diaper. Let me something a little more comfortable. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. She's already well used to it, Amy. Oh. Okay. You being in diapers? N yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know about in Japan. I don't know how the old folks' homes work out there, but you know the biggest problem in the United States in old folks' homes is? COVID. COVID. Venereal STDs. disease. Oh, really? lost STDs. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Banging left and right. Yep. They don't yeah. care. Yeah. Well, no, uh, my favorite brand actually is Depensu. <laughs> Depends. Oh, depends. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, that's my favorite. <laughs> At least Andrew laughed. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> There's a pair of dentures on the doorknob. Don't come knocking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, you know, Elrod, technically that is an alien, so good on you. Yeah. It's the coolest alien of all. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <coughs> that was a cool show. You know, it's really unfortunate, uh, Andrew, that because uh, we had He-Man, which looked mm -hmm. cool for the first time, in my opinion, and the, the, the Thundercats, they did like a remake. And it lasted, what, yep. one year? And it was like, what the one hell? That season. was freaking epic, dude. What do you Oh, doing? yeah. He 2011. Yeah, He-Man's an alien, was... too, so yeah. <laughs> phenomenal it was really good i don't understand why they stopped it because that was killer man do you know I actually, I actually do know why. Why, i'm sorry <laughs> what was that i said i actually do know why they stopped it and i, I don't know if you want to hear the story or not because <laughs> it's yeah yeah it's just it. uh so t uh, thundercats 2011 was canceled because uh one the toys didn't sell well um, mm -hmm. they found, but it wasn't that the toys weren't selling well, it's that they were more popular with girls than they were with boys. Okay. And they were like, nope, wrong demographic, cancel the whole show. Because the show brought in all the, all the viewership. Like, they got millions of unique views per, per thing, but even, even on top of that, the producers were like, ah, oh, it's really popular, but, uh, we have to send the production to Japan, and they cost, like, I don't know like us thousands of dollars per episode to make an episode and we just don't think it's worth it and the show was only supposed to be two seasons so so the the produ the network producers did not want to shell out the money just to finish the series in one more season wow. just to get to the ending they they were just like nope cancel it it's like and it was one of the greatest revivals of a tv show ever because yeah, it was made by fans it was made by people who who legitimately loved the show. Yeah. So well, so when, when all the so when all the NDAs and uh, and disclosure agreements lifted, mm. uh, Dan Norton, who was basically one of the showrunners, but he he was the art lead. Uh, he he did all the concept art. He did all the designs. He did all that stuff. His name is Dan Norton. Mm. He went on to a podcast. And they just did a three-hour show of him just talking out what was going to happen in, se in season two. Yeah. So even though we didn't get it, I still feel happy and satisfied by just by him talking about it and then telling us what the ending was supposed to be and all the cool little references to the original series that was supposed to be in it. So, Aww. yes, it is, it is one of the most disappointing things, but we will never actually see that one come back, you know, because they, yeah. they canned it. And it's then, of course, when they tried to do <laughs> when they tried to do Thundercats Roar, and it was a disaster. Oh, it man. was so... It, 
Thundercats World was so bad. Yeah. It, it was yeah. so bad that that they didn't even uh, make it past the first season before it was already canceled. Yeah. It just got canceled mid first season, well, and now they're releasing. As well. Oh. Yeah, and when and now they're releasing when they're a. Too. Uh, now they're releasing a new comic book series of Thundercats. I don't know if you know that. Like currently, it's only on issue three. Uh, and uh, so, so I've actually been running to the comic shop now lately to go pick up the new uh, issues of Thundercats. Oh wow! And um, it it's it's actually proving to me how archaic and dead the whole twenty four page comic book format is. Mm. Uh, per issue because the pacing is just a disaster. Mm. You know? Like, um, the art's not really there either. Yeah, the, see, um, the art would be okay if they gave them... like, it, And this is, a, this is a common issue in, in the comic book industry anyway where, where they just aren't given enough time to make an issue. Because uh, exactly. the artist is, is pretty decent. Yeah, because the artist is pretty decent but like you get... Like Chitara's face, panel to panel, is just a completely different character, and like oh, wow. some of the eyes are sunken. Like they're they they just don't have any time to check the art at all. Wow. So um, no backgrounds. Half the time. Well, yeah. Well, you know, talking were, heads and no backgrounds. Mm. Oh wow, that's not good. Yeah, that's horrible. Uh, but I do remember like ten years ago or something like that. Uh, there were there were Thundercat uh, comic books out that were pretty dark. But they and they were actually, oh dude I got, I actually have those on my shelf oh, are you surprised I have them on my shelf no um I actually uh, I have <laughs> I have them on my shelf uh, yeah because it because it was a series that actually finished Thundercats like the, it took oh, the eighty cool. series really? and yeah. gave it an ending but it was super dark like because because uh yeah. Lion Lionel gets like leaves and gets sucked into the sword and he then he's like training for years and then when he comes back basically the mutants and Mumra took over and kidnapped all the Thundercats and like. Chitara is like chained up, and it's very suggestive about what's happening. And uh, Wily yeah. Kid and Wily Cat went missing, and then they come back as adults. And uh, Wily Cat was tricked by Mumra. It was it was awesome. It was, it was so good. So yeah, no, I love those. I think those are great. Yeah, yeah, and that's unfortunate. It was a certainly a fun thing that hit, and uh, uh, different than a lot of stuff I remember from my childhood. Uh, when you go back and look at the Thundercat stuff, this actually holds up pretty well, right? Yeah, and it's it's, it's it is interesting because it is the least paid attention to, like as far as like what gets merchandise and what gets reprints and what gets everything. Thundercats is always the end of the like every everything is Transformers, GI Joe, uh, He Man, Yo, and Thundercats Joe. just gets none of it. You know? Yeah, don't go back and watch Black Star. Don't do it. It's not good. Black Star. It's pretty bad. It's funny. I've, got, I've still got all the old figures from Thundercats in my attic. I've still got like the Thunder Tank and everything. Oh, all the original. For real? Ones. Those are probably worth yeah. some money. Yeah, I've, rare. Got, I've still got all my Genron Transformers and all Ninja Turtles figures. I've got like all those old things from back then. I've got probably I got, a um, worth of stuff in I my got, attic. I got some old 80s toys of Wily Kit and Wily Cat. I, uh, I, I've, I've been going around collecting all the Thundercats toys I could find. Um, I found one at one convention. I found a Bengali action figure, and the mm -hmm. dude was selling it for like 60 bucks. I was just like, um, like if, if I was in a different spot, I probably would have bought it. But right. Yeah. It was, it, they just don't make them anymore. So they're, they're, they're rarities. So you have to pay sure. a ton of money for stuff. them. You know, Eric, uh, you, uh, you can kind of do this art thing. You might want to stick with it. Art? Eh, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot better than me out there, I'll tell you what. That's a nice a piece bit of you're doing today, though. It looks really clean. I'm kind of wondering what you're going to do with the it. background and stuff, though. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do anything with the background. I hate drawing background. something. <laughs> I am going. I am going to put a word balloon. Mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah. You, you don't watch the series, this is for no, I have no clue what it is, but it looks great, though. Um, it's from Resident Alien. Alien. It's what? Bridget the Baby. Don't know what that means. We were discussed it in this show last time we were on it. It's like Fame of Alan Turdikin, yeah. Some Australian thing or something. Okay. Uh, no, you obviously do not remember. <laughs> <laughs> it's a comedy. Yeah, no, I remember you guys talking about it. I remember. I love it from Firefly. Sci-Fi. Yeah, like Australian thing. 
Eh, no. <laughs> Miss Definitely not all I give up. Okay. Yeah, I would. You're not throwing T into a harbor. He's not going to remember. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. We're burning down Atlanta. You should have seen how dumb those white guys looked in those Indian outfits. My God. I mean, oh, the cultural appropriation pop. must have been horrible. Oh, dude, the faux pas, dude, faux pas. Uh, 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 Jeff, I, I, I'm going to get some coffee. Yes, I know. I figured that. Thank you. <laughs> You're in get your coffee. You gotta, we gotta uh, keep an eye on Alan there. I think he's going to get us kicked off of YouTube. <laughs> He's been getting a little ink spotty last few weeks. Yeah, no, it's okay. I, I miss ink spots. Where is he? Where did he go? Did he get abducted by aliens? I'm okay this week. I'm being nice. I'm being nice. You're in charge, Jeff. I'm in charge. You're in charge. Anything, but I'm in charge. Well, you could tell us you released a new book. Yeah. Yes, I'm releasing a new book. It's out there right now. Yes. Tell them all the places to go get it. You can get it anywhere. You can get it at Amazon. You can get it at Barnes & Noble. You can get it at Kobo. You can call me Jay. You can call me Ray. You can call me Ray Jay. <laughs> That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> so, as a matter of fact, the audiobook is now being uh, uploaded all the different sites as well so sweet and i just ordered the i just ordered the uh um the bookmarks with jason's art on it so oh, awesome nice. now how are the bookmarks available are they separately or is it well you think? no they're i give those out at um at uh, live events oh, but okay. um i'm now looking into starting up a business and selling books from my website and I need to set up a business first which is I'm going to try and do this try and do next week and um, so once the business is set up I can actually set up a store and start selling stuff out of that store and books go out will go out with the with the uh, uh, the appropriate uh, bookmark how come so the um oh sorry oh no, i was just saying it's from distribution uh, for the physical copies then from your website yeah. or i guess you could do digital too no i'm only going to do physical so it, go ahead is it because you went through a publisher that you have to set up a business in order to sell them or no, it's because oh. in order to charge business tax in michigan um i have to have a business tax license and michigan allows you to do two events with a concessionaire's tax um but after that you have to get a business tax license oh so. that's wild ah. that's ugly <laughs> yep so that's setting up a crazy. setting up an llc look was looking into it about ready to pull the pull the trigger but i looked at the uh i have to get so a little bit more money and put it in because i already have a separate account but uh, i need to set up my llc and then have that running. I'll have all my stuff go to that LLC. Hmm. So. Sometimes you can file LLCs in different states if Michigan isn't particularly generous. I know Florida. Delaware. Be... Yeah, but then you have to do extra paperwork. Mm. Well, Delaware is only for corporations, and it's very specific. Right. So I, I went through this with another company that I worked. Oh, at. sure, right. Um, but if I set, but if I do like an outside corporation. I have to do a whole bunch of additional paperwork, so mm. it's it's not worth it. I just set up a LLC in Michigan and get my business tax license. And because I'm I selling the product out of here, I, I do the business tax through my website for Michigan State Tax. I just I just find it strange that um, Michigan doesn't have like a any sole sole propriety rules, like because because technically you're a sole proprietor. Right. Yeah, you, right. Oh, you can. I don't have to set up an LLC. I can set up as a sole proprietor, and I just I just have to register a name, and I go in and I get an EIN, and then I go get go get yeah. uh, set up our business tax. Yeah, but that's what I, I have. I want to have that 
I want to have an isolation between my personal finances and the because the minute you do that, you have to then do your taxes through or you have to do taxes through your personal um, mm. through your personal taxes, and it just gets I, I don't I don't oh. want to mess with that. Oh well, that's 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 just what I do. I I do my I do I merge my personal income and my business taxes because it's all it's technically. Technically, all of my personal income is from the business, so it's kind of one and the same. Right. Yeah, yeah and, no, and, that works for you. That's awesome. And technically, that's what I'm doing is I am, I'm doing all of my taxes through, um, you know, all my stuff I get, my, my royalties and all that through my personal. And it has jacked up my tax bill quite a bit. So I just want to do it through an LLC. I don't need to get paid. I just need to... Because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be making money for, for years. So, unless you for some reason I still, unless for some reason after this book is released, I start making tons of money, but I seriously doubt it. Taxes so. do suck. Yes, yeah. they do. Punishing people for trying it to make theft. I know it's, yeah. it's like we, it's like we fought a war over it or something. I know, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, uh, I, I teeth. found a way around it though. Yeah. I don't look at it. Yeah. Yeah, I just let my YouTube. wife deal with it, so I have no clue. Well, there you go. That, yeah. That's 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 what I gotta get. I gotta get one of them wives you to do. do my. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's what. That's how you do. Yeah. <laughs> I do hand. have a I do have a pertinent question that I could use some help with, though, if you guys wouldn't mind. Uh, does anyone know how long maple syrup lasts on the shelf? I don't think it on goes the off. Or in general. Like honey. Well, I'm kind of curious because uh, maple, um, I eat pancakes. Maple like syrup rots. Yeah, well, that's my question because um, uh, I eat pancakes like once every, I don't know, two months. Something okay. like that. Uh, my wife thought it was a great idea to go out and buy a, a gallon jug of authentic Whoa. Canadian maple syrup for 100 <gasps> bucks. Oh, my um, gosh. Nice. Mm-hmm. And it's been sitting there a year, and it's down about, I don't know, inch and a half. <laughs> hmm. Give it a good old sniff check. The sniff check always helps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I know that it can get moldy, and you have to keep it in the fridge so it can last longer. It's not like honey. That honey like, can last forever. Sniff honey check. lasts forever, yeah. yeah. There's actually honey is apocalypse tombs. food. Well, no, there's tombs that have been open, ancient tombs, and the honey's still good. That is no joke. Yeah, Thousands exactly. of years, and it's still good. Yeah, that's very honey, true. Honey lasts. Yeah. I've actually tried, tried it. So yeah, yeah. got well, you some thousand dollars. Kidding. Back up an Egyptian tomb, made the honey. honey. Man, those dude, those bees got themselves some magic going on, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Bees don't mess right. around. They don't. Bees. Yes. Well, I, because I'm kind of waiting because it's uh -huh. in this beautiful glass jug. Oh yeah. The syrup. Is it shaped like a lady? No, it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's actually kind of an archaic design to the, but it's it's oh, glass. Yeah. It's a glass jug. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. But I think maybe. it's going to take me about twelve years to empty it. <laughs> yeah, maybe you can try finding some recipes that use maple. I know yeah. it can be used a lot um, for certain kinds of like barbecue, and there are certain kinds of like vegetable salads that will yeah. use. I, with it. You can pour I, it over I, your unagi. I'm, I don't really eat a lot of sweet stuff. It's a, it's rare. Uh, and I dull the maple syrup flavor with peanut butter. Ooh, on pancakes? Now, peanut butter with, on pancakes and stuff like that are always good. It is good. So. Huh. It is good. Interesting. Yeah. I should try that sometime. Yep, yep. Put yourself some peanut butter with some syrup. And it's a good time. I put mm -hmm. I put peanut butter on my French toast. You do you do oh yeah that's French great. toast like you oh, and you yeah. layer it. You do you do French toast, cinnamon, peanut butter, French toast, cinnamon, peanut butter, French toast, cinnamon, peanut butter, and then are you, you making like a mint. lasagna out of your French toast? Yeah, yeah it's kind of yeah it's it's like a French toast lasagna exactly. It's good stuff. Nice. It's good stuff. You know what I do uh, with French mm -hmm. toast sometimes uh, is I'll go and uh, you know how it's like at the end of the day they'll have the old baguette that didn't get sold and it's all lonely there. Yes. Uh, so yeah. I go I go buy the baguette. And then I throw uh -huh. it in the freezer, and I forget about it for like a year. And then, <laughs> um, uh, you Did take you it out, on it? chop that thing up, and make uh, French toast the proper way with baguettes. I'm telling you, it's jamming. 
Really? It is, yeah, because we always use like white bread in the West, right? Sure, and that's yeah. fine. Uh, but uh, but if you do it the way it's supposed to be done, is with a baguette, an old baguette, mm -hmm. it's really really quite good. Wow. I bet it is. Yeah. Get a baguette. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> 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 yeah. Well, wow, man, I don't know what to make for snack later. <laughs> oh, well, I have suggestions. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh, yeah. Peanut butter torts. Peanut butter torts. Oh. How's that? Those are great. <laughs> um, my wife makes a great one of those. Oh, my! F I only eat this once a year. But then again, I don't really mm -hmm. eat cake very much. But once a year, sure. I do eat cake, <clears throat> and my wife makes me a. Nine, not seven. A nine-layered red velvet cake. Ooh. A little mini one. It's only about wow. six inches across. Yeah, yeah. Man, how long does it take you to finish that off? About a week. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. It's a, it's very small little cake. Uh, I like that. I don't eat much. I only cake once a year. And I do love me a red velvet cake. Now, Rabbit, over there in the uh, British Isle area, have you ever had yourself a red velvet cake? Um, they do have it, but no, I, I don't really eat cake. No, I don't either. Uh, but it's it is very unique. Um, it's a sour cake. Mm. Mm. Oh, sour only the cake Frenchy cake. cake over there, Chester. Well, that's fair. Yeah, uh, but the French stuff is very sweet. Cake. It is where that famous quote comes from. Let them make cake. Let them make. Well, but the problem with that is Mary, uh, Marie Antoinette never said it. She did, but she yeah, wasn't talking was about standing at talking door. about. Food. Yeah, she. Uh, that was a complete uh, uh, bullshit lie. Uh, the sad thing about Louis the Sixteenth and uh, Mar Marie Antoinette was they were actually trying to correct the damage that their their ancestors had done from Louis XIV yes. and XV. Uh, they were actually doing, uh, trying to do the best they can. Uh, they were very austere. Of course, she's being Austrian and all, and obviously. That's where the word comes from. Uh, but uh, they weren't but doing anything. But the atheists anything. had to screw it up. Well, they, weren't, they were actually trying to do the right thing, but it was just the zeitgeist of the time, and they got caught up in it, and they got killed. It's unfortunate, yeah. right? Well, it's more about Tommy, right? Yes. I wonder if trying to do what's right made them enemies. Maybe. I'm sure it did. It, well, they're, they're, it always does. I'm pretty sure commies killed them. Yeah, commies actually killed them. No, well, maybe, but... At one of his, it... Well, one of his big problems was that he was too wishy-washy. He wanted to mm -hmm. do the right thing, but then he would get pushed back and he'd, 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 uh, he'd uh, cave. Uh, mm -hmm. and, it, and therefore, it just nothing got done, and it completely failed. Uh, but it is a tragedy of history because it's not the image most people have of them is not right or fair. Right, they tried more, but a, kind of a rather purposely created image, I'm sure, by Probably. any political adversaries. Well, his uh, grandpa was an absolute asshole. Oh my goodness! He was so horrible. He oh, he was horrible. I mean, he was the Caligula of that age, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, his great great grandfather, Louis the Fourteenth, the one that you know that spent every penny that France had to build a stupid house. Mm -hmm. You know that guy. Oh my God. That one yeah. came back to haunt him. Yeah, well, you know, people go in. It's a tourist trap now. <laughs> I guess. Has it come close to earning back what it cost? I doubt that. No. I mean, that was exorbitant. Uh, uh, it, uh, you couldn't even build that today. You couldn't. It would cost hundreds and hundreds of billions of dollars. Kind of like uh, 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 the uh, the gnome line thing that the Saudis are trying to build. Jeez, what a waste of money. <laughs> a gnome line? Naom, Naom. Oh, Naom. New future nope. is what it means in uh, Arabic. Um, oh, okay. But it, um, uh, yeah, they're building like 170 kilometer long, uh, 500 meter wide uh, skyscraper called Nom 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 Nom. Yeah. Nom yeah. Nom Nom. Uh, but then the, again, the Saudis and the uh, the Emirates and you know all of those guys are spending stupid money on stuff. 
Yeah, it's like they're in a contest to see how much you can waste. Yep. Getting into their uh, mental budget. Well, I'm telling you though, the uh, of all the uh, all those rich countries though, the UAE are the ones who are really get shrewd though. Speaking of which, have y'all heard of have y'all heard of the, the uh, preach the preach uh, preacher uh, getting stabbed on live? The Australian one, sure. Yeah. 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 No. Well, you know, don't dare even look at the Muslim. <laughs> Religion of peace. Yeah. Yeah, they're they're but they were peaceful though. Yeah. 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 Uh-huh. Let's see. Yeah. Don't tell anyone, but uh, they've only been around about a thousand years, and we have no documentation whatsoever. Jesus was there before they were. Well, yeah, but uh, well, Muhammad. You gotta I mean, uh, Moh- but you gotta understand, uh, Muhammad probably wasn't a real dude. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> anybody right. who was around him, uh, that uh, or around the idea of it were Christians. I've heard some stories about that. Well, they are, because they're just a spinoff of Christianity is what they are. Oh, I heard it. I heard it's a lot like what happened with the Mormons. Like, Muhammad Mm. found it, but it was like Muhammad's cousin that made it all super militant. Like, Mm, that happened with Mormonism, kind of like, where, you know, people take what's his name, Smith, uh, just Smith started it, but uh, Brigham, Brigham Young is the one who made it all fucking crazy. Yeah, I know. Uh, he, you know, but he also was a bit of a genius, though, Brigham Young. Um, he saw an, uh, saw an opportunity, I think. Uh, but don't get into the Mormons. We'll get kicked off of YouTube. <sighs> no, we'll just uh, get more viewers no, 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 from no, no. Uh, our long underwear friends. That's right. <laughs> Gotta wear Mormon underwear. You do. Uh, but they they've been somewhat successful. Um, uh, but the the ones that are actually crumbling and almost completely dead are the Jehovah Witnesses. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, watchtower the watchtower is sinking there, buddy. Hmm. One yeah. too many uh, into the world claims. Yes. Wrong. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, no. currently they're desperate and they're saying we're 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 a matter of months away from Jesus's return. Months. Of course, do keep in mind. I think that it, he's already returned, and we're on this, you know, this, you know, pre, you know, not pre, but uh, basically the aftermath of Revelations or something like that. It's a, one of them bleeds in that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's, you know, uh, they're generally just Christians, uh, but uh, whereas Christians can be a bit death culty, right? Uh, the Jehovah no, said, "Hold yeah. my beer." Yeah. <laughs> um, but the thing is, the whole you know, uh, it's my church actually teaches this that it's not, it's actually not religion at not supposed to be viewed as a religion at all because it's a relationship with with our Creator. So it's a faith. Yeah. Yeah. yeah are you a, are you a Jehovah, Jason? Uh, no. Uh, I used He's to be Pentecostal. Christ- Are you Episcopalian? He's talking, cr- He's talking Christianity in general. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm asking questions, Jeff. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, I'm neither of those things. Are you I one of those snake just... dudes? What? Snake, snake he was, he said. I am just the a Pentecostals. S- I, I know a few uh, snake company. handlers in West Hollywood. Oh, yeah, well, that's a different kind of snake. Um... Yeah, I'm a. I was raised a Northern Baptist. I was raised really? Pentecostal. Pentecostal. I was raised Southern Baptist. Oh. oh I really? was raised Eastern Baptist. Oh. What? Oh, that means we are enemies forever. Baptist. <laughs> of course, a rabbit was raised Church of England, which. Uh, yeah, let's not get into that. They're all the same to me. <laughs> The they are snakes the same. shall rise again. They are the, they are the same. Yeah, you know, they're just Christians. I don't know why they argue so much. But to be fair, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm with, with Joe Rogan. Rogan. The world needs Jesus. Yep. Yeah. I'm with Absolutely. it. Was, no, we definitely need the Christians. Surprised. Yes, Joe very, Rogan doesn't need Jesus. Yeah, I was very surprised when he said that, but I'm glad he said it. 
Joe well, no, Rogan. I mean, the, oh, it's, Joe Rogan's that guy. Yeah, I was, you know, yeah, but it's 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 a real deal. Religion brings something valuable. I mean, of course, anything mm-hmm. you can get out of trouble will be bad. Of course, bureaucracy is bureaucracy. But in yeah. general, the idea of the Christians can bring a lot of good things to community and the world. That's just the reality. Yeah. Like a bake sale. Yeah. Ooh, All about that. Cool. Community. And free charity, car wash. Free car wash. Even Richard Dawkins morality. is now Richard Dawkins is now changing his tune. Yeah. Well, because he's because it's right. It is right. Yeah. Can it just be any religion? No, yeah, not just nope. Christian. No. Yeah. No. I mean, no. They're all the bloody same. No. Every religion is the same. No, well, it's <laughs> the Protestants no. specifically, uh, and the reason for uh, why uh, rabbit is that uh, the Protestants they have all those kind of right little notes that are in there. Uh, to make it valuable to community in general, whereas the other the other ones still have the kind of those archaic you know eye for an eye stuff. Uh, the mm-hmm. Christians have kind of you know you know eliminated that, uh, and uh, just their charity and in, in, in how charitable they are. Uh, the Protestants in particular are the ones you want, yeah. or Buddhist. Buddhist. I'm a heretic. Well, Buddhism is a, a, is a um, Buddhism's a philosophy, not a religion. It's true. People it, people turn valuable. it into a religion. Well, yeah, but it does help form community, though. You know, I agree with you. It is a philosophy, not a religion, but it does create tradition, and tradition can be a really tradition. Good tradition. <laughs> Unless nah. it's like you know, a once a once also, one day a year purge, in which case, bad that's tradition. Not a tradition. No, I, I have... Christians are the only ones not eating baby. That's true. But, I mean, it, no, He's in too. my older age, I 100% see the value in Christianity. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm working yeah. on getting my eating done here. I think he's coming along pretty good. Oh, yeah. How much time do we have left? I haven't been watching the clock. Oh, yeah. Too much oh, my time. Gosh. So we have Northern, Southern, and Eastern Baptist. We have a Pentecostal. What else we got? No, it's I'm, it's, I am we a, a time, We had a time check. Oh, How much did time we? we got left? We have yes. ourselves uh, 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 exactly uh, 28 minutes. Oh, okay. That means i got to do a poll. You do. You do. Yeah. I'm trying Dang to calculate it. religion here. So we got Church of England. We got uh, the uh, North South East. Uh, we screw the Western Baptists. Ba- those they're just bastards. Um, we got Pentecostals. What else we got? I'm a Reformed. I don't know what that means. Uh, it is well. It, it basically just follows the structure of the Reformation of of Martin Luther. But so technically, I'm still a Southern. Um, I'm so I'm Lutheran. labeled under the su- no, 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 not no, a, absolutely no. not. No, definitely. Um, no, uh, I, I technically fall under the Southern Baptist Convention. Oh, you but, and Eric, uh, you're you're my enemy forever. <laughs> I thought that was the uh, Baptists make good food, though. <laughs> yeah, especially when you're Southern Baptist. So no, please uh, please explain what the reform means, though. How is that applying to Southern Baptist? Uh, hang on, I don't because the, me... the Northern Baptists are boring. Uh, the Southern Baptists are fun, and the Eastern Baptists are up to something. <laughs> it's, so what, it's the Northeast Tri-State Area Baptist. Get it yeah, right. That's right. You're correct. So what does reformed mean? Uh, no, I mean, very simply put, uh, it. I, I would probably put just I, I probably should have just said Southern Baptist, but Reformed basically just means we follow the we follow the law and doctrine under the Reformation from the Catholic Church. Oh, okay. All right, fine. Yep. And and it, it yeah. Well, I I won't go in. I won't go hugely into it. Not on not on the show at least. Well, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, girls, yes. let me guess. Uh, you guys are uh, the M ones, not the Mormons. The other M ones. The Methodists. Um, Methodists. Methodist? Yeah. Oh. You know, uh, I think my brother goes to a Methodist church. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I just um, kind of feel like you're a Methodist. Methodist. Really? Oh, yeah. that's neat. Uh, Those poor yeah, Methodists. Like, oh, are they? Oh, are like, they so uh, Daniel Day Lewis, right? right? They have. A, they have. Their church is <laughs> very split right now. Is it? Oh, well, 
Aww. That's sometimes good. Sometimes... It's not as bad as the Jehovah Witness Church, though. That thing is collapsing at an extraordinary rate. But anyway, uh, what what are you girls? Southern Baptist? Uh, I just have my Bible and read it. So. Uh, non-denominational, soul yeah. scriptorum, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> it, uh, non, -doms. non doms are basically Baptists with that with fog machines. Oh, sweat. What? <laughs> that's the first time I've heard and that. And apparently pole dancing now. Oh, nice. Yeah. They are whatever. Really? That's the first like time you've heard that? Baptist with fog machines? Yeah, that's the first time I've oh. heard that. That's funny. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, it is pretty funny. I like that one. Alan, I'm assuming you're a Catholic. Oh, um. He's an Alanist. <laughs> <laughs> I talk about how you were to raised. Watch, uh, right? We're all raised in the church in one way or another as kids, right? No. Uh, no, I haven't seen WWE in a while, so I haven't really... Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't really go to church as a kid? Church. No. No, no. Uh, no, not really. I'm kind of I'm kind of a heretic. I'm kind okay. of a... I, I, I'm alternative. I'm it's not like just looking me, into thanks. crystals or anything, but... No, no, I'm not. A, I'm not uh, an atheist, but I am not a um, religious type. I, I know. I I'm, not a, I'm not a Bible thumper. As an adult, I'm a deist. I'm not. I don't belong to any of the Christian faith. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm like a deist. Uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. And then, uh, hmm. yeah, I've been. I was raised uh, with a lot of different religions around me, um, and uh, be that uh, even a cultish a little bit, but. Mm -hmm. Um, what do you call it? I've seen everything. I've seen too many things to choose one. That's fair. That's fair. You know, when you do the crystal things, you get the hippie girls. Hippie girls are cute. The problem with hippie girls is they need showers. But that's easy to overcome. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. No, and, razors. and razors. And razors. <laughs> you can keep the razors, though, for the emo girl that you date. Because they'll both that's use right. Huh? <laughs> I was a bit older, and there was this girl uh, that uh, uh, was a. Uh, oh, that was good. She was just kind of part of the group that I was hanging around with, and uh, she the, she and her boyfriend were ultra hippies, and she basically walk around the house without any top whatsoever, just completely top naked, right? And um, you know, uh, the other ones just try to act like it was a normal thing, and didn't say anything to her because you know how people are. But I'm not like normal people. <laughs> but you're not normal people. You're no, Nick. no. So I said, so I said to her, uh, I asked, I, I looked at her, and I said, uh, <clears throat> why? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> she says, I want to be my, my, I want my breath to breathe. And I said, okay. Um, and like, I that's said, not how the human body works, sister. <laughs> All the science. Yeah. And I said, well, you know, they are large and they are nice breasts, but you are currently 23 years old. Uh, in two decades, they will be down around your ankles without a bra. So, uh, maybe How dare you, you should put one on. This is when Chester was a bra salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Money's got to be made. The world needs support. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You ever met any of those kind of people that do stuff like that? Uh, no. no, we burn them at the yes. stake. Mm, fair. <laughs> hippies? Oh, yeah. That's yeah the hippies and their weird ideas, man. It's like... Uh, the hippies. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like... You're, you're the not only good hippies are unique. dead hippie. <laughs> this is true. Oh, like a hipster, right? No, no, no. no they're worse. Oh, they're much no, worse. They're way worse. <laughs> yes. No, hipsters are people with World War One mustaches and brownie camera. No, we are talking about crystal hippies right now. Um, crystal hippies. Crystal hippies. Hey, hippies. I died. It's a very specific category. Hey, man. Um, yeah. But though the hipsters or the yuppies, as we used to call them, uh, they yeah, have sold they're their worse. They're somehow worse in everything. Well, because oh, they've right. sold their soul to the devil, you see. Mm-hmm. And that's the problem. Like a blade. Yep, yep. Exactly. They're just assholes. They are. They are extreme. Extreme. <laughs> you know those things they call Karens or Wokeites? That's what they are. Pretty or much. foodies. Food. Oh, I'm a foodie, though, kind of. <laughs> yeah, you do I mean, talk you about food. Like I like food. <laughs> Does that qualify? Who doesn't like you, food? Right? Well, I don't know. Oh, in fact, they would survive. Breatharians don't like food, Jason. 
<laughs> that is strange, but there are some people out there that say they don't need food to live. They're like, no, you can live off. They're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Amy, Amy, I know you're super, super young, you and your sister. Uh, but uh, <laughs> let me give you some fatherly advice. Okay. Oh, no. People lie. <gasps> yeah, those people have never been to Cuba. They don't. You think they don't actually live on just, you know, air and sunlight? No. 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 They're not plant people? They're not no. plant people. No. Oh, my goodness. That's kind of funny, though. People I think are just... bad. Yeah. I did my job for the week there, uh, Eric. Uh, yeah. You did. I appreciate I did. that. You feel good? You spread the good word. I did. Yep. I did. I did. I get 10 points. Have you heard the good news? <laughs> hey, Paul, we are the Jehovah Witnesses again. The good news. <laughs> Have you heard the good news? Right. Well, no, you know the funny thing with the Jehovah's, you know, uh, we can mock them now that they're dead. Uh, but, um, <laughs> uh, uh, but those guys will go on about their good news so much. But if you watch any of their films or give them five minutes or even, you know, seven. Uh, to talk, they're going to talk about the absolute brutal murder of the word, the world that Jesus is going to bring upon everybody. Oh, excuse me, Michael, the uh, the the archangel Michael, who is also mm -hmm. Jesus, who also was flesh, but then wasn't flesh, but is not God, but is God. Yeah, um, and he's and, also and, Adam and. That's right, and so they have going, they have trans God. Brutally slay everyone who is not a Jehovah Witness. I mean, brutally. And then they're going to get uh, yeah. onto a, re, a remade earth, uh, and everybody who had died before comes back, and they're going to have to evangelize. So only the people that are currently alive get to be murdered, uh, where they pass dead. Even, you know, Nazis get to come back. Uh, how nice. Uh, and, and then everyone gets huh? a pet panda. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's, that's, so that's, that's that, that it's, uh, with the select few, the 144,000 or whatever, but yeah, they keep yeah. changing well, the number. Well, those are the anointed. You see, they get to they get to deal with uh, Jesus one on one, and they make all the rules and stuff, and then they pass it down to the rest of the uh, congregation. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, some of those but things. At least are, we get a panda. I want my. I want a panda. <laughs> Revelation talks about Jesus coming back and all, but you know he, not because you're Je freaking Jehovah Witnesses, he won't kill you for that. He'll kill you because you're wicked. <laughs> well, he'll kill you for Jehovah's Witness. Right. That means you sold your soul to the well, devil. I, Jason, he doesn't the care if you call this witness. Make, the point being is, and being is, they make Jesus out to be this homicidal maniac. Is my point. That's yeah, no, in a Jason okay. mask with a machete. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, good movie. That sounds like a great film. Yeah. It asked him about the. Uh, that'd make it. Oh, the, that'd be a comic yet, book right there. The but yet, yeah. the first thing, even though that's their their belief, the first thing they say out of their mouth is, "Do you want to hear the good news?" Yeah. And it's like news. nothing <laughs> they you have to say is they, good it, at all. Which they just stole from the evangelicals. Yeah, they did. But mm -hmm. I mean, you know what I'm saying. It's, yeah. it's a bit insane. Yeah, they just talk about the apocalypse or whatever. They do. Armageddon. That's yeah, what it do. is. That's their whole thing. It's yeah. coming any day now. Oh, my gosh. I hate when they talk about Armageddon. I'm like, that movie's so old. Yeah, no. Ben Affleck that movie Netflix. makes me cry every time Bruce Willis dies. <laughs> Although, Liv Tyler. Every time. Mm -hmm. She can do better than that Ben Affleck guy, though. Yeah, he should have died. Yeah, it would have been better. <laughs> the wrong guy died on that comet. Mm -hmm. That's what I always thought, right? Yeah. The best story is from Ben Affleck, though. The, the best story from that movie. Ben Affleck, because he tells Michael Bay, like oh. this is like the, the famous story. He tells Michael Bay, it wouldn't be easier to train astronauts to be drillers and drillers to be astronauts? And they're already halfway to filming the movie. <laughs> and they're like, oh, crap. <laughs> and now it's a true story. Oh, well. I thought you were talking about his animal cracker story when he's going up to uh, live Tyler's then, belly with the animal cracker. <laughs> oh, man. Ben Affleck is an unnecessary human. In my opinion. I yeah, like his, so he's a CIA uh, he's some good films. Plant, so. I cannot stand Ben Affleck. He is the, the perpetual frat boy. Oh, really? Watch him. Uh, I he did some great films. Yeah, he's, you know, he's Eric, a good actor. Eric, you're not going to trick me, Eric. <laughs> he's a uh, assassin who has um, 
What is it? What's JD got? Alzheimer's. Oh, autism. Oh, he's a autistic, autistic assassin. Oh, autism. <laughs> Aut <laughs> autistic <laughs> assassin. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. Wants to uh, kill somebody. It's a, I it's would a good much movie. rather go watch a Mark Wahlberg movie. Thank you very much. Oh God, no! Now hey, did you me hear? Mark Wahlberg's good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> did you? Yeah. Four did brothers. You hear people are complaining. There's not enough good. black people in the Shogun series. Oh, I did. Yeah, because they're morons, though, right? I mean, we well, need yeah. did you see? Yeah. This, you know, you know, Hell Divers. Um, they they've yeah. literally done like they've been banning people and blocking all the things because all these weirdos going LGBTQ wise and these things, but they've been blocking both sides of the arguments. Yeah, and yes, just yes. literally blanking anything political out of it. As they it's great. <clears throat> it's nice to because see. It. It's the only should, game I've yeah. ever seen just block everybody. Yeah. Nothing but democracy. Because they're yeah. all freaking Only morons. democracy and hell divers. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, exactly. That's it. Exactly. It's great. Sorry about yeah, that. They should it. never have politics in anything like that. Yeah. Include. Because that's not what the game is about. Me out cause we, <laughs> it, which is an yeah, ironic statement. Like, uh, like a little wokey too, right? And, sh and they still have that stance, which is kind of cool. It means that there's hope. Mm. Yeah, yeah well, exactly. Yeah. It's just like that show, like you say, the Shogun people. It's like, do, do, do you not know history? Do you well, not know where Japan I, I is? I think they don't. They <laughs> kind of miss the idea that, you know, everyone in the world has their culturalism, their tribalism, and you can call that racism if you'd like. Uh, and uh, here in Asia, particularly, the one group of people they really all agree that they don't like, even though they have zero experience with, are black people. Yep. I don't know <laughs> well, why. Seen well, it's weird. Because they have no experience, but they don't like the blacks, uh, <coughs> pretty universally. Uh, so uh, yeah, the, the during, blacks. Well, the thing is, during the, the during the uh, samurai uh, period, uh, yeah, I, there might have been. I think there was one black dude who was a slave, and then got. There is, there is some shit something about it. Yeah, um, yeah, there but, is. Uh, They're gonna trust, make a TV show about it now. Well, if you're a foreigner during that period. And you're not a traitor, and you're trying to live in Japan. You would have been horribly abused, horribly abused, because you know, he was shinobi. Well, the Japanese themselves were horribly abused. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of kindness. No, it was a brutal, brutal dictatorial uh, culture. You know, the shogun is a dictator. Literally, a, a, a military sh uh, a general dictator is what the shogun is. So sad. Mm -hmm. Yep. Best That's thing that ever right. happened to them was Hiroshima and Nagasaki. It's the only way to have stopped them. Their, their words, not, I'm not, not I'm ours. Off that high horse. I'm just telling you, dude. They're so better off than what they were. <laughs> you got to understand, during the war, what was going on here in Japan, because uh, no one talks about this, right? But, uh, you know, if you said anything that was even slightly sideways toward the government or you didn't um, you didn't produce what you were supposed to reduce produce in a day, you would be disappeared. Oh my God. The people were in constant fear for their lives from the government. Uh, and when they were fighting the Americans in Okinawa, particularly, they would literally take their their villagers that were nearby. <laughs> right. Tie them up and use them as actual human shields as they uh, advanced mm -hmm. on the uh, American soldiers. Um, because that, the Americans would hesitate. Yeah, that's right. Because we would hesitate. Right. Um, and and it, it, you could go on. I'm not going to. But it was really, really bad to be a Japanese in Japan at that time. Um, and after those bombs and America coming in and forcing them down, uh, what they have now is a way better life than they've ever had in their history. That's, I remember hearing a story once about this fellow who, he had been arrested in Japan for, he hadn't actually done anything wrong and he was, he was innocent, but they decided, well, you know, we can't say we arrested the wrong person, so they're going to basically leave him in jail. And he kept escaping. Oh, yeah. And it was kind of neat. He could keep doing that. But I think one time his wife had mentioned the best hope she had for... The best hope she had for her husband to ever receive justice was to fall to America. And that was... That's kind of strange to hear that. But there have been some really horrible leaders in a lot of countries. And oh, yeah. It's... Terrible things happen. I think yeah, in uh, Israel, or in the Bible, it talks about one time in Israel, all the farmers and stuff were like 
really hard put upon, but all the ruling classes were like really wicked. And so they went over and found oh, the conquering so people and they like were kind of like, period, yeah. yeah. And they were like, so they got to under the new rulers, they got to have farmland and, you know, live happily. And then mm -hmm. the country fell, but it's strange how that happens throughout history. It, it, well, people are people, I guess. Uh, but, um, but yeah, I mean, unfortunately Japan still has a little bit of the old in it, uh, because even though the the Americans kind of put a new constitution on them, which is like our constitution, they also left right. a lot of old stuff in place, and, and Japanese are pedantic. Yeah. Um, but, uh, for instance, they have a 99% uh, success rate with criminality, right? So you're like, yes, oh, oh, the, oh my gosh, dude, um, the criminal system, holy crap. It's really bad. <laughs> Um, so the way they deal with it is kind of what you said. Uh, they basically, mm -hmm. if they decide you've done something, then they put you in jail and you stay there until you uh, until you uh, uh, admit your guilt. Oh, dear Lord. Mm -hmm. Well, they, they also have um, a interrogation system where they basically have one, the investigator, the main investigator is also judge, jury, and executioner right in the, in the, um, uh, the, in the interrogation room. So, like, when they're interrogating you, they basically force you to admit it. Like, it, even if you say, no, I didn't do it, they're like, well, we're gonna, we're just gonna batter you until you uh, admit that you do it, right. then we're just gonna run that you did do it. Right, right. And keep in mind, you're not allowed a lawyer until, uh, what is it, 72 hours? Mm. Something like that. And they won't let you sleep for, for that time. You're not allowed to sleep. Uh, they won't give any food. Um, so torture. Yeah. Uh, oh so God. I know everyone has this golden thinking on uh, Japan, but there's still some insidiousness here. Uh, oh, yeah, the, the Japanese cr criminal system is one you would definitely want to stay away from. Yeah, but the How good thing is them? is they rarely pull the trigger, though. Mm. So in, for the most part, you either need to, had to have been in a really the wrong place at the wrong time, uh, or you just really, really were doing something you shouldn't have been doing. You know? Yeah, stealing. If you steal money from the government, basically. Oh, they don't like that. Yeah. Don't they have a lot of like organized crime though? Yeah, but that's all corruption, and it's all paid, and all the cops get their money and stuff like that. That's that's different then. Yeah. So it's okay. So that that's okay. Mm -hmm. Alan, your dog is yapping. I do you. I actually think that's Jason. No. Uh... My my wife's at work. <laughs> oh, oh. oh that's, my, that's my dog's guys actually. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Oh, yeah? It was fun. I don't care whose dog it was. It was funnier to blame Alan. <laughs> I got so narc out of Alan one day. Right, right, right. Uh, but yeah, no, I mean, so no place is perfect. I don't know, I don't know what they're barking at, but they bark at. They can bark at anything, honestly. But, yeah, it does. Like, sounds good. like he's rooting you on. Woo! Yeah, he's cheering for you. Woo! Dog sounds like Ric Flair. Woo! Yeah, <laughs> yep. yeah, that's that's them. <laughs> it's, a it's a she and a he, so it's no, I see. I many see. more minutes. Oh, well, that's okay. They see ghosts is the problem. So. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Time check. Time check. Time check. We have ourselves precisely six minutes. Oh, okay. Woo! Yeah. You know, I know I've said this before, uh, Elrod, but uh, one of the cutest things my, my son did when, it, cause I, when he was young, he got into wrestling and we watched pro wrestling. And at that time, Ric Flair was still, you know, he was ancient, but he was still in the ring doing stuff. And uh, my son uh, uh, called him Gigi, which means grandpa. Gigi, woo! <laughs> That's awesome. It was awesome, yeah. But he was just a little thing, right? Little kid. Aww. Yeah. GG. GG. Woo! <laughs> And then I got him a WWE video game, wrestling game. Yeah. Uh, and we were playing, and he beat me every time, and I threw the controller down, and I refused to play ever again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did he get to keep playing, though? That's the spirit. That's the spirit. That's right. That's how you do that. That's how you do that. Yep. Well, at least one of you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that kid, uh, he, he's actually really good at video games. Nice. Mm -hmm. He I seems guess. like a dedicated sort. He'd probably be good at a lot of anything with his head, too. I don't think he plays anymore. He doesn't have time anymore. 
No, I suppose not. Yeah. How are they doing, by the way? Are they settled, or did they... Yep, no, they're settled. He's getting into his job uh, uh, really well, and uh, I think he's a little bit lucky because he's a, kind of a copacetic, you know, charismatic mm -hmm. type of character. And uh, a lot of the younger guys that the comp company has hired, because uh, mm -hmm. they go, they do, you know, kind of uh, periodic mass hiring, right? And sure. um, uh, but they're, these guys are like they don't want to go out drinking with the bosses, they don't want to go play golf with the bosses, they don't want to do any of this stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, you know, I'm sure they, if they do their job, they're okay. But he's very happy to go out drinking with the bosses. He's very happy to go out and play golf with the bosses. He's very happy to do all these things. And, of course, that means he, 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 he jumps levels very quickly oh. because he's copacetic, right? But, uh, hopefully he's um, in a good place, though, that that's not becoming, like, destructive or, like... Oh, no. Well, he's got my <laughs> genes. Therefore, he can drink like a fish. Oh, okay. <laughs> you don't let Must him buy his own jeans? jeans. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we both made the same joke. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Twinsies. Yeah. Well, the good thing is the Asians really can't drink that well. They do like drinking, oh. but they don't drink a lot. So he's pretty oh. safe no matter what he's doing in that regard. Nice. Have they heard of the curly sprawl? Well, you know, he he at least he's enjoying the golf though. That's good. Oh, is he? Yeah. Well, I mean, he I think he, he likes a lot of sports. So he's I guess a sporty kid. Like... Yeah, he likes the yeah. golf. Uh, he thinks he'll never get under a hundred. I say, well, you will. Just keep at it. So. Right. They're all you're going. To, they're all going mini golfing together, right? No, oh, that no, sounds amazing. no. You know how Japan is. Too. They don't have mini. I just like I just like imagining all these business Mongols and business types just. Going Win to be a, you know, be at like a mini golf course and just be like, that would be so much mm. better. Win -win. Yeah. You have all the arcade machines. Oh. Like oh. Okay, uh, quick trivia: best mini golf scene in history in any movie. Go. Happy in Gilmore. Movie. Happy, Happy Gilmore. Gilmore. All right, got, got rabbit. Happy Here. Gilmore. All right. all right, fine. It's the right answer. <laughs> Good burger. <laughs> Friday <laughs> kid. Oh, mm, that's oh right. okay. Hey, you know, my wife was watching that Cobra Kai thing, uh, yeah. and uh, therefore it's kind of on in the room. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was one of the later, more recent seasons of it, I guess. But remember the little, the real cutie, uh, that uh, Japanese girl that was in the uh, in the second or yes. third movie. Yeah, Dude, she aged well. Well, most Japanese people do. As they you do. Know. That's true. My oh, wife still Pinedo. looks thirty, yeah. uh, but. Um, Damn, Asian dude. don't raisin. They don't. Yeah. <laughs> Until they hit sixty, then it, then it's immediate. Then the elastic band lets go. Yeah, well, it's more Straight like yeah, yeah. Uh, but but yeah, yeah. Uh, so you know, and that I, was uh, suddenly you're in a kung fu movie. That was uh, that was one of my fun experiences when I was in Japan. Was uh, when I was when I was in Okinawa. Uh -huh. There was a huge there was a huge hurricane that oh, blew yeah. through. Right. I was like, oh, just like Karate Kid Two. Uh, yeah. We started yeah. there. Yeah, <laughs> quick, quick, get the tea. <laughs> but old Daniel Peter Sotera yeah. playing in the background. <laughs> I wonder if any of them would get that. <laughs> uh, probably not. Yeah. Not that a big movie over there? I've never heard anyone you mention Karate like Kid. Him. Yeah. No. What they the the, the 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 most popular movie in Japan, and I'm not mm -hmm. kidding, is Roman Holiday. Norman Holiday. Hmm. Yeah, oh, Catherine, uh, really? Audrey Hepburn. Uh, Hepburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, there, was that? Her? Was it Audrey Hepburn? Was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what? One of the. <laughs> Thank you very much, Jeff. You've been practicing. Very nice. Um, uh, but uh, <laughs> another more modern movie that's very popular here in Japan. Before I go, take a look at the art. Uh, interestingly enough, is Mama Mia. Really? Huh. Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry. Musicals? Yeah. It's pretty awful. Are musicals in general popular? Oh, you get to see Pierce Brosnan's Brosnan 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 Brosnan. Brosnan. Not really, but that it's just certain <laughs> things click with the ladies. Uh, oh, because yeah. in general, men don't seem to be much into the movie stuff. It's more of a ladies' thing. 
but uh, but yeah, they, they 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 you know Casablanca, Roman Holiday, they 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 haven't really kept up with the times. So you know, no, they're just watching the good stuff. That's all. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. It is good stuff. Uh, nevertheless, let's go over here and take a look and see what we got. Uh, and I'm going to start with the Andrew, and we have a, uh, a biker mouse, and he is mm. indeed from Mars. From Mars. Is he from Mars? Yeah. <gasps> nice. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that. <laughs> you got a shout out from the girls, Andrew. You should be very. very I, proud. I did. I am very proud. Actually, that was great. That was great. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but uh, I saw, I think, like five minutes of an episode somewhere or another because someone had it on. Uh, it's a real show. It does exist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, but the yeah, this is great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, thank uh, you. Yeah. You know, and it's great. Yeah, you know, uh, although I don't know how it is that you keep arguing that you're not a furry. <laughs> you know that that this was actually actually going into this episode. I was like, man. I can't. This is this is going to be a tough one to argue against because, like, you, you. I mean, being a '90s kid, we didn't really have many options. I yeah, mean that that's good. just that's just straight facts. Is yeah. is most of our most of our programming was anthropomorphic. Huh. That is true. But then again, in mid '90s, you did start getting things like the Batman, Young Justice, all that kind oh, of sure. stuff was building up, right? Superman and Batman. Some really great stuff, uh, but nevertheless, oh, yeah. it was the uh, yeah, it was the Ninja Turtle craze. Like everyone tried to yes. you know copy yeah, it. Right. You know? that's true. So they'll, yeah. Biker Mars, Biker Mice. As cool as it was, it was a clone or an attempt to. Yeah. Right. Oh, absolutely. Street Sharks. All those. Yeah, no, that's true. Street yeah, Shark. It was more late '90s, early aughts, where wow. you started getting all that great stuff. Of course, my kids got Dexter's Laboratory and Samurai Jack, and you know all that kind. Yeah, of all stuff. the Gendy stuff. Yeah, all the Gendy <laughs> stuff. Uh, but uh, but this is cool. The thing I love most about the biker uh, mice from Mars is the antennae. Mm, it is it's kind of a goofy quirk. Yeah, well, you know, it reminds me of uh, one of the, the best alien characters of all time, if not the best one. Uh, uh, his name is Shran, and it's uh, played by the um, the Almighty Jeffrey Combs. Uh, on I think you mentioned Star him once or twice. I thought you were going to say it reminded you of the uh, other guy from Star Trek. The well, groundskeeper no, uh, uh, with the <laughs> antennae, right? You know the, the antennae because he has uh, he's Andorian, you see, and they have antennae. Because so. that's how you are when you're exactly. from Mars. That's true. You well, they're from Andorra. That's right. You know, yes. it's oh, not we're Andorra. Yeah. That's yeah, it's not. not but far. this mouse, yeah. this mouse is from Mars, yeah. therefore he has antenna. That's true. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it is it is a, a nearby solar system, so Andorra. So. Um, one of the earlier yes. members of the Federation. Mm-hmm. A little bit of history there. Yeah. Uh, but this is great. Uh, Jeff, would you like to make a comment? Alrighty then. Uh, so uh, if you guys like what Andrew's done, please go for from vote from the straw poll. Absolutely, I like it. I love the I love the glow on the sunglasses. That that really sets it off. Yeah, the lighting oh, is really you. cool. Yeah, it's pretty. Thank cool. you. It's got almost neon. It's very mm-hmm. nice. Yeah, very good. All right. Well, next I'm going to go over to Amy and. Uh, Tell us what you've done here, Amy. Please explain yourself. <laughs> well, let's see. You said I should do Stitch. So yeah. Stitch it is. Yeah. And you were saying your favorite Star Trek character alien was that blue from and Star Trek. he's blue. So, yes. you know, I see they got the blue there. Yeah. Uh-huh. And he's got antenna. And I thought, oh, that's kind of fun. So I did yeah. Stitch is. Right. Is a little oh, please, please, please. Uh, Well. Actually, I know the costume's not right. No, but it's <laughs> this is a uh, this is a, a you know original Star Trek uniform uh, and mm-hmm. uh, a uh, and uh, of course a communicator and uh, original phaser. Uh, he was Andorian. They did not have such equipment. Although there are uh-huh. several episodes where uh, 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 the uh, captain of the Enterprise did give weapons to them, so there's a slight crossover. The problem is you are before this data. You're you're not accurate in your timeline. Oh, I'm sure I'm not. Yeah. And plus, Star Trek didn't really have Stitch in it. No. And I don't think <laughs> there's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. There's that. <laughs> But yeah. I still thought it was fun. I oh, know. I think it's great. It's super yeah, cute. Yeah, it looks great. It's great. Yeah, and I love blue. the reference. He's blue and he has antenna. And I'm like, oh, that's too much fun. We'll just do that. Yeah, <laughs> there you go. Jeff, any comments? Mm-hmm. He's probably Next time, uh, do Star Trek. All right, then. Very good. Thank you, Alan. 
but uh, this is great. If you like what Amy's done, please vote for the straw poll. Very nice. Uh, let's move on over here to Eric, who has done something. I have no clue what it is, but it looks good. Oh, oh thanks. And he's being profane. <laughs> well, that's the alien. Yeah, I was going to say, it's accurate. It's yeah, share exactly. accurate. So <laughs> this baby alien likes to say, this some bullshit. Is that is that how it the goes? baby um, says it in the season finale of ep, uh, of season three? Would you like shit. to intone it correctly? Oh shit! Oh, I see. He does that. He does the the, the gizmo. All right, that's cool. <laughs> it's a good show. Everybody should watch Resident Alien. Right. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah, I've heard nothing but good about it. His face is funny. It's really funny. Yeah, it looks it's like funny. he has a face hugger permanently fused to his face. <laughs> Very nice. It looks great, though. Uh, any comments, Thank Jeff? Thank I have no idea what that is. Fair enough. But it looks <laughs> alien, so. It does. The coloring's great. Well, me and Eric, the only people that have watched that show, I can't believe that it's possible. But we're the only yeah, two people that have seen it. It's, uh, it's on my list. It's on my list. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm getting there. Andorians are are funny aliens even though i'm not a huge fan of enterprise like that character in particular is, is pretty funny and interesting mm -hmm. though well jeffrey combs so. is just an epic actor so anything you oh yes throw definitely in, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Um, but um, but that character is one of the best that star trek's ever had actually uh but nevertheless if you like what eric has done please vote for him in a straw poll and just so you guys all know uh jeff approves eric uh, although he disdains amy and andrew so not my, just not my fault. Not my fault. Uh, but um, Where, Elrod, where'd you get that one from? What? Where'd you Elrod, get that from? What you doing there, buddy? And he's moving. No, Nothing. Why? <laughs> Hi. Okay. All right. Paper's been stacked. Okay. Okay, so got himself a drink. He's 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 refreshed himself. He's no longer sound like a big gulp. Yeah, we got a skeletor. Is that skeletor? Nancy Pelosi, God. whatever you want to call it. Okay. Yeah. Fair. Fair. I've got a green Martian. Yes. Can all oh. Clint East Woody on his on his yes. throat. Yeah. They're from uh, Mar. We've got uh, another Martian, a red Martian, Deja Thoris. Yes. 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 she's from Mars too. And, and, she, and, and she's with the, uh, the 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 luck dragon there from uh, Never Ending Story. <laughs> from Never Ending Story. Yeah. <laughs> and we got a blank paper. <laughs> yep, blank. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then we oh. got uh, Hola. Biden and his aliens. No oh, fair. <laughs> fair. Hola, <laughs> He's got his ice cream. It's not a good He's good. My corpse is so cold. I can't. I can't even melt ice cream. It's about yeah. about. No. <laughs> Oh, well, yeah. You know, the sombrero, eh, although it's a rather ugly hat, it is very utilitarian. It's useful. Yeah. I wear one. Yeah. The combination of the sombrero and poncho, it's, uh, it's a way to go. Yeah. If you're outside all day, traveling in the rain. Open? What was that name? I think I saw somebody once they did a party platter that was like a... It had a, like a bowl on the top of it, uh -huh. and then the, it was like a big tray, and that was kind of fun for a party. Yeah, that's fun. maybe not a great reason to have a hat, but no, I don't but know. fun it's things crazy. to do. With yeah, it holds, it holds dip and chips of all kinds. Yeah. Okay, it can. Yeah, it's a good idea. It is. But like I said, if you're having to work out in the sun all day, it is the hat to have. Yeah, yeah probably that'd be awesome. Yeah, it is that. It is the right hat. Uh, well, thank you very much. Uh, I, I think Falcor uh, uh, making an appearance is um, special. <laughs> so, Jeff, would you like to give an opinion on this array of art from Elrod? Uh, erotic array of no, art. I have no opinion because you will use it against me. Fair enough. Chester, you're such a cop. I know. <laughs> I am just awful. Uh, if you guys like what Elrod has done, please vote for him in the straw poll. Very nice. Very nice stuff. Uh, let's continue over here to Melissa. I've been watching very quietly the whole time because what she's done is, is pretty fun. So it, Because it's insane. It's great. It's, it is the best oh, thing she's done awesome. so far. Easily one of – this is probably the best animation you've yeah, done it, so it, far. It, this is it, just it, incredible. Thank you. Morph. Good job, Melissa. 
Morph is so fun to draw. <laughs> Is this, this an actual yeah, character, not good. some original yeah. thing of yours? Yeah, yeah that's it's from Treasure Hunt, Treasure, Treasure Island, Planet. or Treasure, Treasure Planet, Planet. Excuse me. Yeah, oh yeah. yeah, no, I remember that vaguely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't one of their biggest hits, but I loved it. So, and yeah, that's a fun one of the ones that fun. Disney killed on purpose. I mm. thought it was a shmoo. Yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah, I can see, especially the oh, nobody did Hercules. Yeah. The Herculoids, oh my gosh, that'd be great. That'd be good. But this is really good animation, though. It's great. Man, I loved the Herculoids as a kid, but don't go back and watch that as an adult, though. It doesn't hold up. <laughs> yeah. uh, this is awesome. Jeff, would you like to make a comment in regards to this cute little animation uh, from our very own uh, Honey? Yeah, it's great animation, but if I say that, mm -hmm. you'll hold that against me. I probably would. I am an absolute cop. <laughs> He's the first. I have to wait 72 hours until he stops beating me. Mm -hmm. That's true. Well, you know, uh, I do have a recent cop story, which is kind of funny. Um, I was doing dynamite, dynamite in the morning. The sun's coming up. It's a beautiful day. And I uh, sure. went and parked because uh, between the two stops, we got to kind of kill about 15 minutes. So we'll stop and get coffee and have a <laughs> cigarette, you know, because you can't smoke with, you know, dynamite. You no, know. no, no, no. Yeah, so, uh, <laughs> so, you know. What? Yeah. What? Uh, well, you know, it's, 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 it's just some silly little safety rule, you know. Uh, but, uh, but we're sitting there and just having our coffee, having a cigarette, killing time. Uh, and uh, when we drove in, we saw a cop that was sitting right in the middle of the parking lot, not in any stall. Just in the middle of the parking lot. And we figure he's, you know, because it was a blind uh, entry uh, coming uh, uh, from uh, uh, west to east that uh, we figure he was just, you know, out there, you know, being a tax uh, uh, a tax collector, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but, uh, but no, sure enough, he was just waiting because his two partners had gone in to get their breakfast at the, at the convenience store we were parked at. And mm -hmm. uh, being a cop, they thought it was just fine for them just to sit parked right in the middle of the freaking parking lot instead of just putting it in a, a freaking parking space like any other normal person. Oh. Cops, man. These are, Jap these are Japanese cops, too? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess I would I would assume so, but you know. But no, it was, it's just so typical cop behavior, you know? Mm. There's no need for any of that nonsense. Just park like a normal person. What's wrong with you? Anyway, uh, mm -hmm. If you like when Melissa's done, vote for the straw poll. <laughs> and park like a normal person. For park, like a normal person. park like a normal person. I agree. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's continue here. Now, uh, Jason, Mr. Motion has done. Uh, uh, now, I'm going to guess that this is the almighty Nick Cage's Superman, which never came to life, which, of course, is what? one of the greatest tragedies in all of cinema. Um, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, technically. Yeah, just you... go there. Just say yes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah. this is great. Uh, of course, Superman is the quintessential alien. So That's there you it. go, girls. An alien that looks human. There you go. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. Totally works. Mm -hmm. And he's from that's a, good, that's, that's the end that's of a really good picture. It that's is great. great picture, yeah. It's like the end of Contact. What a bummer. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's not exactly the same Superman he was once was. Yeah. And he can't really get much out of oh, that lady. You know, she was dating <laughs> the dude that shot Reagan, after all. Let's be fair. No? Nobody? All right. No. Uh, uh, Jeff, would you like to make a comment on Jason's great little portrait here? Yeah, Superman should have been Nick Cage. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I agree. 100%. Yep. Awesome. Uh, if you guys like <laughs> what Jason has done, please me. vote for the Shaw Paul, man. It's very good. Uh, let's I have over. a hot take. You do, What is it? I think I think Nick Cage should have played Brainiac. Oh, man. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why couldn't oh, he play that, bro? <laughs> yeah. That might have been fun. You know, one of the one of the we still could see it, but one of the great tragedies in cinema, truly, is that William Defoe has not been the Joker. Oh, I know. I mean, good. He, he refuses to though. That, but if if it, you know, but yeah. He did Green Goblin. He did. Yeah, yeah. I don't. Honestly, I don't have a great. problem with him being the Joker. But so, yeah, dude, he'd yeah, be perfect. He, Perfect. Uh, and he wasn't even after the ball. 
<laughs> just stand there and look scary. Yeah, yeah, he'd be perfect at it. Anyway, let's go see what Rabbit's doing. Uh, now, Rabbit has decided to do a queen, an alien queen, a xenomorph. Sure is. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, she's, uh, she's uh, you know, tending to her eggs, as you do. And then there, somewhere in the mist and behind her is some evil, horrible human named Ripley. Yeah. She's so happy. Look at how happy she is. Very happy. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. For now. Yeah. <laughs> I wish yeah. someone would go slap the people that are making alien movies and tell them, you know, we don't need every movie to have the Ripley. You can use another character. Okay, but, or yeah, a Ripley yeah, but, clone. but to be fair, though, Romulus, the alien Romulus, Romulus movie. Doesn't look yeah, Romulus bad. is looking pretty dope. Romulus looking yeah, pretty dope. But it good. still got the Ripley. No, it doesn't. Well, yes, know. it oh. does, dude. No, it oh, doesn't. It? It's got nothing to do with Ripley. It's it had, absolutely it's, not, got no, nothing it's to not do with Ripley. Ripley. But it has the it's Ripley. talking about how they always cast Ripley clones, even when. Yeah. Oh, I see what you mean. Well, movie. I don't know until yeah, I watch Ripley it because there's only been like a five second teaser. <laughs> no, it could be awesome. It does look good. Uh, well, but... it looks like a proper horror movie style, which is what I want. Lots of blood and yeah. gore and, you know, darkness. Yeah. It, I know the Evil Dead director is doing it. Oh, it's crazy. Yeah, that's yeah. why I think it's going to be good. They better be. I want it to be like Evil Dead Rise, but Alien, that'd be so good. Oh my gosh! Well, he Dead mentioned Rise, like brutal. it was like his inspiration was like Texas Chainsaw Massacre more than uh, Alien. So I'm like, oh, that's, that's promising. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna yeah, be, yeah that's, gonna that's, be that's awesome. Yeah, but that really wasn't my point. My point is, you can use other characters other than the clone of Ripley. I mean, mm -hmm. there, there are other true, characters. True. You don't have to keep true. wink winking that because yeah, Ripley's a baby that character. likes to walk around in her underwear. It's also a horror, so it has to be a woman that's the main character because it's yeah, horror. That's true. That is true. That's but true. she can have blonde hair or different color skin something, or you know yeah, anything. She doesn't yeah. have to have black in, in this hair case, give us a black girl. Thing. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, but no, I mean, she <laughs> already killed it. I mean, she did kill it. Let's be fair. Uh, this yeah, is great. Jeff comments. All he right then. Jeff. Okay. He's you know, coming. Disney fired her from the black hole because they said her name was funny. <laughs> and then that same year she did Alien and that was the biggest hit <laughs> because she had I because they have a funny name that's not a because Sigourney is a funny name so they're like yeah no nah, no way her name's some, weird some of these <laughs> some of these suits ha make the weirdest decisions they really yeah do. and it was, it was their whole reason they're like oh she's good and everything but her name. Get rid weird. Of Got your weird. <laughs> Go away. All right. Uh, it looks really good. If you like to wrap it down, vote from the straw poll. Uh, Alan, uh, do we have a, a full suite of Alan today? Oh, no. I can't, uh, the music's still kind of janky, but I did have a little flavor here. Oh, okay. Uh, let's right. see here. A little bit of flavor. <laughs> uh, there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, I, am I allowed to read that? I don't know. Probably uh, no. not. Actually, they say that almost on network TV now, so you probably could. Well, I mean, it it it, it, it is a um, <laughs> an innuendo. That needs to be a feature. Yeah, poor cat. Alf was a weird one. I never really got into that show, but uh, some of my family members loved it. <laughs> I, yeah, my my dad grew up with Alf, so yeah. Yeah, I I kind of rather ah. I like the married with children. That was good. Al Bundy was was <laughs> the schnizzle for sure. Uh, but uh, Al, Alf came yeah. on after or before? What I think was thinking was after. Hmm. Anyway, oh, before I would have thought, thought that. Yeah, I would have thought that married with children would be the later. Yeah, because the cartoon before. maybe the cartoon was at eighty seven. Which means that that series is like eighty six or something like that, eighty five. Well, I know Married with Children is like eighty seven, eighty eight. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. But I, I do like me some Al Bundy, and uh, uh, of course uh, Christina Applegate. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Although she's had a horrible life. I mean, that's tragic. All oh the cancers goodness. and death and sickness she's had around her, man, that's really horrible. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Now. After a whole whole bunch mm -hmm. of other stuff, she's had a really hard yeah. life. That girl. Yeah. Oh, that's right. She had cancer. She did. Yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, no, very, really, really rough road. Uh, but she 
keeps a you know a smile on her face. So good for her, man. She does. It's mm. really brave. It's she awesome. is. That's yeah. good. Good for her. Uh, but back yeah. when I was young, she was the heartthrob. Uh, her and um, who was the one from uh, was it Falcon Crest? Heather Locklear was that her name? Eric. I think you're thinking of Lorenzo Lamas. No, well, yeah, he was a hottie too. Was it Heather uh, Locklear on Fall Guy? Yeah. Fault maybe no no no, no that was the other was she was smoking. PJ Hooker. Yeah. PJ Hooker. The, the pretty Heather was on Fall Guy. Heather Thomas. Yeah, well, oh, no, Heather she Thomas, was a pretty yeah. one, but Heather Locklear, a lot of guys liked her. Uh, but uh, but uh, uh, Christy Applegate really. was the heart was the heartthrob for sure. Mm. Yeah, back in that day. Um, but, and then Christy, after that, we, uh, we got a really really horrible girl uh, that turned out to be one of the worst humans I've ever seen in my life. What was her name? She was with some Latino guy on a show. Um, Charles in Charge was it? What was that girl's name? My brother had a poster of her on his wall. <laughs> Nicole Edwards? No, she's become a real loud, noisy person these days. She's oh, so you're thinking of Alyssa Milano? Alyssa Milano, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Uh, but uh, that that my she brother's Charles my brother's Charles. generation, she was the thing though. The guys were crazy about her. Well, well, I was I named old, my daughter a little bit older, and she was too young. What was that? I named my daughter oh. Alyssa. Oh, God. <laughs> Brain cancer. Uh, if you guys like what Alan has done, even with his uh, his dialogue, uh, go ahead and vote from the straw poll. Very nice. Uh, have I gotten everybody? I think I have. Uh, let me go over here and check. Uh, am I missing anything here? I got to draw along. Uh, of course, I'll go check that on the other side. Yes, thank you very much. With a little bit of Rob Halford killing it, uh, we get uh, yeah. These are, are, are yeah okay. Oh, Armand did a draw along today. Uh, yeah, we got a bunch of stuff, dude. Oh, Holy goodness, goodness gracious! Uh, all righty, so uh, uh, let me go. Uh, you guys get to voting. I know Jeff has already done that, and I will start mm -hmm. uh, showing the draw along stuff. Uh, so uh, let's start here with uh, Jason Gonzalez or Thunder Rat, uh, and. Um, this is a shout out right here. This is this is good. This is good, dude. Yeah, I, 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 I nothing but love for you, man. It, this is a Looney Tune slash, um, uh, what was that? Uh, Spaceballs uh, riff is what this is. That yeah, that is the Spaceballs one. Yeah. Yeah, but it's I, also, I know it wasn't off the Looney Tune oh, frog, no, it was, right? Yeah. Yeah, the WB frog technically. The w it wasn't. Oh, it technically wasn't a Looney Tunes, a Looney Tune because well, he was WB, but well, Looney Tunes is WB, right? Come on, my baby. No, come on, my honey. Come on, my Clementine. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. Ragtime gal. Ragtime gal. Good job, Jason. Nice That's reference. Freaking great. Knock it out of the park. That's freaking awesome. It is. It is too scary. Or that is like, that is right on, right on model. That's great. That it is, is great. Um, now, next one we have Michigan Jonathan gay here. frog. Yeah, tur well, turning the freaking gays, uh, uh, frogs gay. I know. What are you doing? <laughs> uh, but um, uh, <laughs> Jonathan from the line block, of course, has given us uh, a little bit of a shout out to our community with Doug to Naple. And, uh, of course, uh, Earthworm Jim. Very nice. It's a good alien. Oh, oh that's adorable. Yeah, it is. It is. Whoa. Yeah. Uh, and uh, he's also given us another. I'm assuming this is Looney Tunes. Uh, but uh, we got a little bit of Marvin, uh, Disintegrator the Duck. That's amazing. Earth shattering <laughs> kaboom. Yes, Marvin. Marvin. I love the fact that he has a broom on his head. It's perfect. <laughs> yep. Well, he can sh he can like clean up after he uses the disintegrator, right? Eh? The but disintegrator. Like disintegrator. Yes. <laughs> You're yes. <laughs> <laughs> Marvin, Isn't it is great. Uh, now, uh, Amaron didn't join us today, but he did uh, do some draw along. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this isn't his. Uh, I don't really know, but he showed this to us. Uh, aliens yeah, versus Aven Avengers, which is an idea. But I mean, honestly, the aliens would get tore to hell. I mean, they're not going to be able to deal with that. Oh, it would be a little thing. tough, I think. Well, no, there, there's no way. Just Iron Man alone would walk right through him. Oh, yeah. 
Oh no, yeah. I true, think but, the acid uh, blood would eat through his armor. Yes, the blood was still yeah, eating through his sure armor. Would. All right, well, since we're doing Avengers, let's just throw a Wonder Man at him and see how they deal with that. <laughs> and what happens if one of them gets, you know, face or good? <laughs> oh well, that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, the whole Legend of Hulk. It's a face hugger. Okay, we'll just yeah. go with Rom then. And then it's uh, it's completely done. Um, anyway, um, uh, we got uh, so, uh, this is a little off to the side. I'm going to check out Doug's other stuff, but he put this in here as well. And uh, yeah, a little bit of Space Ghost, Coast to Coast. Heck yeah, Space Ghost. Very cool. Space Ghost is also getting a, a new comic book releasing now. Really? Yeah. Really? Is it the comedy yeah. thing or is it uh, the? No, thing? it's it. It looks like a grim, dark Space Ghost. Nice. Oh, yeah, it looks pretty. It looks pretty cool. I actually, I is it releasing now or is it going to release? Either way, I want to check it out. Like, I, I really do. It's gonna be oh, it probably pr pretty cool. Yeah. Well, you know what doesn't get any love at all, and it's an injustice beyond accepting, uh, is the fact that the Blue Falcon has nothing. Mm -hmm. Blue Falcon, one of the big, best characters of all time. What are you doing? Where's my Blue Falcon movie? You're in the last Scooby Doo movie. Was he? Diamond. Yeah. yeah. Was it a Scooby Doo movie? Yeah, or he was, was a big it that part. atrocious it abomination was. thing called Velma. No, it was a Scooby Doo. No, no not Velma. Scooby okay. or whatever. Yeah, yeah it's it called Scoob. All right. Well, let me go. He looked here. really cool. Oh, wow. It was really a Hanna Barbera movie. Like, oh, if you think neat. about it. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love Blue Falcon when I was a kid. Uh, anyway, let's go over here to the uh, Twatters and uh, let's see if they got anything cute. It's always a challenge. And of course, we'll look at Doug's stuff. Elon Musk, missiles. Or rockets, I guess. Good job, Elon. I don't um, think you ain't room. streaming to us, Chester. Are you we sure? Don't know if you're seeing. Chester? Oh, I'm sorry. I uh, let me do so. I forgot. He's just having a good time scrolling on his own. I was man. Yeah. I was just enjoying sorry. myself. He's, he's ignoring us. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> but um, uh, those are great pieces, though. I, I go through and show them again if you guys need me to. Uh, Did you show our like an 11 minute right? delay on YouTube? Oh wow! Yeah, K one not. Did I show armor on stuff? I did. Yeah. Optimus Prime. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, Optimus Prime. No, I I didn't. I thought that was something else. Optimus can, is an alien. Yeah, it looks good. Good, good show. Oh no, it doesn't want to do that. He put it in a weird format. It doesn't like it. Okay. It scroll armor. down to the bottom. What do you mean? He posted it again. Just the JPEG. Oh. Oh, there you go. That's good. Well, yep. That is oh, an alien. Man. He's from yeah. Cybertron. That's true. <laughs> That's the cube. Yeah. I cried when he died. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that was shocking for us kids back in that day, man. It was. It yeah. was. It was real. Uh, but anyway, let's see. You are not a happy person. Get him, James. James Wood is always going to put him in his place. This guy is very upset about something. I'm not care though. I don't really care. I'm I'm, I'm in a search for cute. No, not stupid. Cute. All right. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Did you buy some board games? Uh, yes. This is Chip Theory too. One of my favorite companies. They are awesome. That right there is a, a box. Is probably going to weigh about thirty pounds, uh, and it'll probably cost about twelve hundred dollars. But I'm good for it. Oh right. Ooh. Music. I'm not going to listen. A pill. It's a pink pill. Pez. Oh, I thought it was a Pez. Pez. It looks like a Pez. <laughs> it does look like... Yeah, it is Pez. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> what, what, you got one of them. Yeah, but uh, I want cute. What are you doing? Okay. Ooh, more board games. Uh, I don't... You're not cute. You're doing something dumb. I know. I know. You know. Coffee. No. Ooh. Huh. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, there we go. Just broke through. Nice. Finished the tunnel. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's a happy day. That's a happy yeah. day. I deliver dynamite to tunnels every morning. Ah, all right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that's how my bidet works. Oh, fair. <laughs> fair. fair. Uh, this is some Swiss thing. Uh, oh, that's not. Oh. What, 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 what are you doing? I might slap the teacher. Yeah, Jesus. children, man. It's a high school in North Carolina. Uh, it's a girl. All right. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, arrest her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's assault um, right there. That's assault. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's got to help the cat oh. out. You got to help him out. 
Oh, it's oh, it's poor little Paul. Oh no. Yeah, okay. don't be stupid, cat. She's trying to help you. Stop being stupid. Absolutely. Stay put. Okay. Okay, hold on. There you go. All right, you're good. All right. Peace. <laughs> Okay. Live long and prosper. It's oh, a bobcat. Or is that a lynx? That, that looks like a lynx. Yeah, it looks like oh. a lynx. A little bit bigger. It's right. a wildcat to me. I don't no, know. Is, I that what I'm is that my cute for the day? That's not very cute. Um, oh, it, it, that dolphin, dolphin have underwear in the It was a no. condom. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's bad. It's garbage. Oh, thank you. That, okay, there's my cute for the day. I'll take that. <laughs> He's cleaning up. He's cleaning up. Oh, the shark was oh, cuter. He's doing his part. He's doing his part. Uh, all right. Let's see here. We got. Uh, ooh, that was from last week. Uh, let's see what uh, Doug from uh, Blue Moon Cartoons has got for us today. He's got a little bit of Rod Sterling, uh, which is nothing but love. Uh, and there's plenty of aliens in Twilight Zone. So, you know, unsung hero oh, yeah. here, Rod Sterling. Twilight Zone's awesome. Yeah, yeah. It always will be. Oh, this looks so familiar to me. What is it from? Um, serve. How to Serve Man. How to Serve Man. But I you thought know, that that was an Outer Limits episode. It might have been, but don't uh, don't upset Doug. Um, uh, but uh, it looks there... like Keith David. <laughs> it does <laughs> a little bit, a little bit of Keith David. Love. This is a uh, this is uh, uh, what you call the one with Roddy Piper. That movie. They're yeah. aliens. They yeah, live. but it's not. But yeah, <laughs> yeah they live. Um, actually, there was a rendition of that story, uh, "How to Serve Man," done by uh, Jason Scott Lee. The uh, Simpsons also did a great uh, rendition of that story. Yeah. No, it's the Twilight Zone. Oh, there we go. Doug's, Doug, Doug, you were you were right. Jeff's a horrible person. We agree. Okay. Uh, what do we got music wise? Now I'm wondering what instilled in him the idea of Rod Sterling and aliens. It, it, there, there are aliens in Twilight Zone, but why? Why was what, what was on his mind today? I wonder. He, he ri reminds me a little bit of Columbo too, with the eyes. A little bit. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh wow! It really? Yeah, that totally yeah. looks like Columbo. You're right. Columbo was awesome. By the way. Um, Columbo was awesome. Yeah, it was one of the. You know, another show that doesn't get much love on the YouTube, on the internet, uh, was another with Jack Klugman. Of course, most famous for The Odd Couple, but he was in another uh, show called Quincy. Yeah. Awesome. And he played a, a <laughs> coroner. And he had a little Asian dude with him. The same little Asian dude was running around the Enterprise. Played Sulu. He didn't have a didn't have a rapier in his hands at any time, though. No, yeah, it wasn't yeah, Sulu. It was, was um, the guy from Bucker Bonsai. Oh yeah, that's true. Quincy's a good show, though, and I don't see any love for it anymore. Nobody's making any remakes. Well, no, I meant just you know YouTube love because you go find everything Columbo, every single episode of Columbo on YouTube, right? That is true. Yeah, and it's good stuff. But I like me some Quincy too. Uh, but anyway, uh, let me come over here and do my job properly. Uh, and uh, Doug get... says Twilight Zone is the best something favorite show of all time. How could I not draw Rod Sterling? Fair enough. Fair enough. I mean, I, I, I enjoyed it as well. Although I would suggest to everybody not to watch the new Twilight Zone. Um, it's it's pretty awful. I don't know what they were thinking. Never left. Let's see what I got here. Oh, I got to put things in order today. It means I got to work. So, who won the Drawn and Quarter Ultimate Edition Alien Competition? So, my choices are Andrew, Chewbacca's personal groomer, Fleming. That would be a, a difficult job. I, 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 yes, it's, it's true. I, I am I am sending him I am sending him messages over the internet, making sure that I can meet up with him one day. Yeah. Well, you know, just don't uh, 
don't make him angry. He may rip your arm out and beat, beat you to death with it, you know. You know well, that's why I'm grooming are. him. That's fair. That's why I'm grooming him. Um, uh, this one, uh, I think, is just inappropriate, Jeff. Uh, Amy, R2-D2 D2 with a unicorn porn. No, pony. Sorry, Lester. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I don't... What, what is you trying to say, Jeff? What, what, what's the... Uh... Nothing. I mean, R2-D2 R2 with a unicorn pony is cute. Is it? Yeah. You well, know, R2-D2 yeah, is and... a little bit of a jerk, you know. Well, whatever. Uh, C3PO is so a jerk. say you. The pony makes up for it. No, uh, C3PO is aloof and, and uh, unaware. Uh, R2-D2 is the jerk. He had a foul mouth. Oh, yeah, he was very foul mouth. That's he true. does have a foul mouth, yeah. That's true. Uh, or I could go with Melissa. Lee Lou multipass Dallas. See, she got a cute one. What, should I not give cute ones to Melissa? Oh, no, no, that's good. You're just, uh, just, you know, just throwing Amy to the curb here, I think. All right. Uh, let's see here. We have a one doom owls cat wrangler rabbit. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, he does need his daily fit, uh, Phil, doesn't he? Alan, what happens? Uh, and ET phones home. A what? What? Oh, that should have said that. <laughs> what happens when ET phones home, Alan? Oh, I, w I thought you were going to oh. say, "What's happening?" And ET phone homes. I, I didn't. Uh, uh, yeah, I think it should be what happens when ET phones home. That would be better. Yeah. It's yeah, I screwed up. Move you on. Did. That's okay. Uh, but uh, that's Alan's. Uh, Eric, grooming consultant to the Grays, Hawkins. Yeah. Two groomings. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Sounds I good. groomed today. Oh, that's nice. Did you manscape? Uh, no, no. I did trim my beard up and uh, shaved. And... That's Sorry. funny because the Grays are hairless. They are. <laughs> That's the joke. Yeah, I get it. Uh, El Rodham is the reason why Mars needs women play. <laughs> oh. I'm going to have to put you number one just for that. Um, Mr. Jabba the Hutt's personal trainer motion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Well, El Rod goes to number one. All right. There you go. So uh, yeah, number one. There you go. Um, Elrod's uh, nickname was the centerpiece of my strategy. I'll have you know that one. Oh, that's good. That's good. Uh, let me see here. Uh, I like what Eric did today. I like that. But you know, Oh, thank you. Yeah. Um, let's see. Andrew, uh, furries go to the bottom of the page. Okay. Oh, my um, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> um, Alice was pretty good. <laughs> Amy's is good. Melissa's definitely good. I'm going to put it in Melissa here, though, because that was great. Um, and, uh, yep, that's good. No, nope, furries at the bottom. There we go. Boat. <laughs> furries at the bottom. Now we're here. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I did nothing of value. Very nice. Uh, <laughs> never let's get over there and vote. We'll give it a minute. Uh, thanks everybody for coming in today. Uh, of course, it's a lot of fun. So many different alien things to do. A lot of things you didn't even think of. Uh, I love the Spaceballs reference. That was funny from Jason Gonzalez. That was great. Uh, it's one of, you know, I didn't think of it and then I thought of it. It was that, that therefore effective. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Optimus yeah. Prime, definitely an alien. Without question. It's certainly an alien. Um, and, uh, but uh, interestingly enough, we only got one xenomorph today. It's interesting. Two. Uh, well, yeah, you're right. The uh, uh, the uh, Spaceball reference is technically an alien this trip. Three, then. I almost threw Alf uh, coming out of uh, someone's chest, but... Opportunity lost. I, I, did it. I did a xenomorph coming out of Biden. Oh, you and did. Biden. You did. That's right. There are three. Yeah. And the, you know the funny thing about the Spaceballs is they got the guy uh, who was in Alien. Uh, yeah. yeah. They had the chest yeah. burster scene, and they got him yeah, to do John, it again. John Hurt, right? John Hurt. Not yeah. again. Yeah. That Not was again. wonderfully uh, uh, tongue-in-cheek. It was great. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I guess he you know, does. back when Hollywood actually, uh, you know, was fun. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. 
Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, thank you very much to Jabba. Yeah. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, Mr. Motion, Jason, uh, Amy, Elrod, Melissa, <laughs> Eric, Rabbit, of course, and Alan. Uh, but the, the day goes to Andrew and uh, <laughs> his furriness. And I was yeah. unable to I deter it. Mars. Despite yourself. That's right. I, I tried to Hail to the furry you. king. Claps Hail everybody. to the furry yeah. king. Claps, yeah. Yeah, I tried my saboteur. I did. I did. Threw, I threw my shot, and it, 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 meant, it meant nothing. Oh, well. Well, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> it's good. Actually, it was a great idea to do uh, uh, Barker Mice and Mars, man. I thought it was fun. Yeah, I no, it was a great idea. It was awesome. Uh, anyway, awesome. Uh, let's go over here and uh, get to the end of the show. We do appreciate you guys. Uh, next week, I guess a decision has been made. Uh, what are we doing? Thundercats okay with everybody? Oh, let's do Thundercats. I've been down for that. Thundercats, Thundercats. Thundercats. Oh, why not? I'm not, I'm, I've, I've never watched Thundercats, Thundercats but I don't know what it's all about. So, yeah, just, it's fine. Yeah, no, they're, yeah, they're, it's a fun show. Dude. It's a fun show. Um, uh, but, yeah, good. So everyone can join Andrew in his degeneracy. It's nice. Um, Let me told. have my thing. Very nice. Did somebody watch a different Thundercats? No. No. Yeah, just label it Furry Night, like Thundercat well, slash Furry Night, and we'll get like a million viewers. Booster <laughs> educated me on what the furries really are. His cousins? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, the Thundercats, of course, will be awesome. Um, there are many, many characters, uh, so uh, we'll see what they do. Not just the Thundercats, there's a whole surrounding cast of characters uh, mm -hmm. that can be done. And, of course, one of the Best looking, well, dude, yes, but one of the best looking villains of all time, though, Mumra. Slide? All right, slide. Slide, yes. Yeah. And uh, Amron's got to show up because uh, we need a Chitara. Proper one. It's true. I'm going to be drawing Kumara, <laughs> the actual, the actual best funny. Thundercats female. Oh, well, that's fine. That's fine. Kumara? Uh, Kumara, yeah. 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 But my favorite was Panthro, to be honest with you. Panthro. He was just super slick and cool, man. I loved him. Anyway, come back next week for Thundercats. That'll be a lot of fun. He was a, he was a purple bluish brother. He was, you know, and I might even sing the song. I might. Ooh, yeah. I don't know the song, but I know there's a ho is in there somewhere. That sounds like Jim Duggan, though. It gotta be me. <laughs> <laughs> My dog used to howl every time that cartoon came on. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm glad at least a couple of people got the Jim Duggan uh, uh, joke though. Mm -hmm. well, he was at a Comic Con with me uh, just last year. Oh, was he? Yeah. Now he was <laughs> yeah, so much fun. He looked, dude. He looked old. <laughs> yeah, but he was so much fun. He was a great guy. He was a great fun yeah. guy. He's one of those actually really cool old school wrestlers, you know, like uh, Mick Foley. That with those guys. Mm -hmm. It's like a retired Sasquatch, that guy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but because some of the wrestlers uh, are the old school ones. I mean, they were they were pretty par hard partiers. But, I mean, they're really nice humans. And then you have the Hulk Hogan. <laughs> who was not. Anybody surprised by that? Anybody. No, brother. No. No. Brother. Nah, he was. When I shoot a nuclear missile in Vietnam. Yeah, he was pretty rotten. Uh, I'm not gonna give well, it. That was a but... different time, dude. Well, no, I mean, uh, a, there's a many of them, but dead. like here, just a quick little story of how Hulk, Hulk Hogan was. Um, in in the wrestling business, you're given a championship belt to thank you for your hard work and success. Is what it is, right? <laughs> And uh, Undertaker uh, had uh, it was getting his uh, first championship uh, and saying thank you for all the money he brought in and success, which he did. Uh, and they put him against Hogan to get it. And um, 
Uh, Hogan was really concerned about him doing his tombstone maneuver on him because of his neck. And uh, Mark was like, oh, no, no I'm going to take care of you, man. I'm going to take care of you. It'll be fine. Uh, he did. He was very careful. And he, when he did the tombstone, took the belt, he was very excited because, you know, it means something to these guys, right? Uh, that, you know, it, it, that belt has, has meaning to them, not just monetarily. Uh, so he was very excited because Hogan is acting like he's hurt and he's on the floor and call my wife and, you know, all this stuff. Like he And Mark, of course, is a young wrestler. He's terrified. He th- thinks he's going to be fired. Uh, and the whole thing is just Hogan trying to undercut him, right? Mm-hmm. Ruined his <laughs> life in the spot, uh, spotlight, right? Just because Hogan is a, is a freaking shithead. Anyway, Andrew, what are you up to? All right, well... If you want to check out my work, you can go to solariansun.com and read my comic for free. I will be posting up to page uh, 297 tonight so that you can read that all the way up there uh, for free. I am currently working on page 716, which means that on Saturday, uh, page 714 will, will be readable. Uh, almost done with chapter 24, which is the, which will be complete the halfway point of the story. So I'll be halfway done with Solarian Sun by then. And what, what is, uh, uh, what's the page number again? Uh, 716. Wow. We're getting close guys. Uh, page yeah. 1000 is going to have a bugbear on it. <laughs> yeah. There it is. It's coming up. It's coming up. Uh, the print collection of this. How tall is that going to be? Is it going to be like, you'll have to clear. Hold it'll speed. probably have to. Yeah, it'll probably have to be two two compendiums, I would imagine. Oh. You know, so. It's going to come with a bookshelf. That's right, it'll come with its own. Uh, well, anyway, the uh, the Kickstarter stuff is arriving, uh, as as Eric had mentioned it before, is. and I'm I'm getting messages left and right of people getting their books. So if you ordered a book, uh, one, thank you for your support. Two, they are on the way, so keep an eye out for them. Uh, I will be sending out the s- books with sketches, hopefully sometime in the next couple weeks, so uh, the people who got more work will be done. Uh, I will be making my first appearance, uh, my first public appearance of the year, uh, May 4th, which is Free Comic Book Day, at New England Comics in Quincy. So if you're in the area, come uh, come get your free comic books, and then you can also visit my, sign- my signing table over there. Uh, I was also just confirmed today for Springfield Comic Con, so that means that I have four conventions. That's the Massachusetts uh, one, right? Yeah, there is. There is. Uh, it is one of them. Uh, and so, so that'd be pretty good. Uh, so I have four uh, four conventions set up for this weekend. So I will be present in both Massachusetts and New Hampshire, actually. Mm. So yeah. I'll keep you updated on dates for that. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. No, Springfield's uh, got one of the best permanent uh, 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 fairs in the world really good Ooh. and uh new hampshire of course is where you buy your fireworks mm-hmm. that is correct That's true. It, it is where i buy my fireworks but it the is. government doesn't know that no 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 i didn't say anything yeah oh no because in this and where we live fireworks are illegal because you know you're not allowed to have any kind of you know human rights or anything like that uh, right. so we, we all done drive done. up to new hampshire where it is legal and we buy our fireworks <laughs> and bring them home Oh, cool. And they just don't have any idea where the fireworks come from every fourth well, of Well, the, the cops usually join you and have some fun. Yeah, they don't care. Oh, nice. Uh, but the, the government's stupid. My point is the government's stupid. That's, what, that's my yeah. point. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> okay. Anyway, great. Thank you very much, Andrew. And, and, and uh, good luck on those conventions, man. Uh, no, thank you. Girls. Hey. hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming to see us, everyone. Like always, um, it's I'm getting a chance to draw, and we're going ooh Thundercats. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't think to draw that one this week because then I'd have to double up, which wouldn't have been bad because they've got a ton of great characters. But I'm they looking do. forward to it. Anyway. They do. I like the so, the two kids. They were cool. Oh yeah, Wiley yeah. Kit and Wiley Cat are my favorite. They were cool. Wiley yeah. Kit and Wiley Cat. My favorites. That's really cool. Well, that's awesome. That's cool. So, Snarf. Well, that's, that's a pretty hard act to follow, right? Well, I kind of would rather have just nuked Snarf from space, but, you know. Oh, he's not. Wait, you think Snarf was worse than the uh, Row Bears, the Ewok ripoffs? Oh, the, the Burbles? Row Bear Burbles? The oh. Burbles, yeah. Wow, why do you have oh. to remind us? So that was lost to history, Elrod. <laughs> no, because I still have nightmares about that, and everyone else needs them, too. All right, fine. Shares a lot, I guess. <laughs> I shouldn't. Ha- I shouldn't have to suffer alone. That's fair. All right, that's fine. How about you, Melissa? Okay. Ooh, Melissa's got combos. 
I shared them, but you know, internet. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, Are those those pretzel I, things? Yes. Yeah, they're, they're delicious. Yeah. yeah. They got, they've got some that are pizza flavored, too. My wife mm. frowns when I, when I buy things that are in bags. Really? Yeah. She doesn't like anything. She doesn't like food. canned or boxed or bag things. No fun oh. food. No. No fun food ever. Scratch made or not. Uh, and, and, and honey, no jokes aside, this is your best animation yet. Without question. Oh, it's so good. I, I, <laughs> I don't I, I don't want to be like all loud, but I, I kind of feel like it. Oh my gosh. When I was, when this movie was new, to think that I could actually pull it, off, pull it off one day, it just kind of blows my mind. It's, it's a happy day, and I'm more glad than normal that I came. I always enjoy myself, but this was a special, this is a special day for me, for sure. He's super nice. adorable. He is super cute. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I, I, my memory is fairly vague on Treasure Planet, but uh, I do remember it being really good. And it, sh it and it got uh, it didn't do as well as it should have. It, it was. And with the main like, character, the last no, name of Hawkins. First Harry Potter movies. That's, true. That's right. Yeah, it's true. I don't know why that one didn't do well because it was because well Disney done. killed yeah. Disney killed it on purpose. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Of course they did. Yeah. Um, another one that didn't really get a lot of motion was uh, uh, Titan A.E. That was a good movie. You no, know, I like that movie. That I was good. I haven't seen that in years. Really <clears throat> That bomb is okay. <laughs> oh, yeah, it did. Ben Edden worked on it. Same guy oh, yeah. who worked on Firefly and the Tick. <laughs> oh, those are great. Yeah, especially the yeah. original Tick. Although the, 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 the newer version of the Tick was pretty good, too. But that original Tick was epically awesome. The live yeah. action one, not the... The cartoon was great, too. Yeah. Yeah. Cartoon is good. Which part, uh, I guess you didn't watch cartoon. Another cartoon but... canceled because it didn't yeah. sell to one. Which was yeah. funnier than Hulk yeah. or Freakazoid? Oh, Freakazoid, yeah, sure, sure, sure. My kids were in the Freak generation Freak of the Freak Animaniacs. Uh, and that was great. Yeah. yeah. That was good old classic. Uh, well, dude, that was good old classic Warner Brothers doing their thing, man. <laughs> um, anyway, very good, girls. Thank you very much. Eric, would you like to say something to the people with your weird little alien here who swears? And you really need to watch Resident Alien. There's only three seasons. <laughs> you can catch two, one through two on uh, Netflix. And the newest one is on uh, Sci-Fi, which I believe I watched it on Paramount Plus or no, 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 Peacock Plus. Uh, and then you need to go watch uh, Fallout, really good. And you no. need to watch uh, Shogun. No. <laughs> produced by Fallout's Japanese people. Fallout's actually good, though. I've been watching it's it great. here lately. And uh, you should come and watch all of us draw Thundercat Furry Night next week. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna title it Furry Thunder. <laughs> all you. right. Thumbnail has to be Furry Thunder. Furry Thunder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get on that. Let me write uh, that down <laughs> and make it make it appropriately inappropriate, please. Thank you. Uh, no. <laughs> yes, Eric. Go down the rabbit hole, Eric, and find the pictures, Eric. <laughs> find them. Find them all. Hey, no, you know what you I, do. I, you go take yeah, Harvey what? from that old movie. <clears throat> He's invisible. Oh, the one uh, <clears throat> with the puka. <laughs> Furry Thundercats. There we go. No, Furry Thunder. <laughs> Furry Thunder. Furry Thunder from Denmark. Sub, sub. I, I won't say much too much about Andrew because I got a couple of furries in my book. So. Oh god! All right. Well, thank you very much. Uh, all right. Let's all like good lion, I hope. El Rod, would you add, like to add to the the thunderous furriness <laughs> that we're going to have next week? And of course, that is a great Frizzetti you got right there. Well, no, it's uh, that's uh, very nice. Yeah, I'm working okay. on this. If I if I finish it, it's going to go up for auction. The charity That's thing. Awesome. Yeah. yeah no, Show that, that Frankenstein head again. Oh, where'd he go? That looks great. I've been watching you paint it. <laughs> I uh, sculpted his brow because the original face was like, looked kind of like Herman Munster. Uh huh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I kind of re sculpted his features so he looks more Boris Karloff y. Oh, I see. So now I'm down to painting him and feeding him on a cool commando body. 
Oh, nice. Mm. There you go. Nice. Yeah. Actually, there was a, a new Frankenstein. There, there was a new sculpture that came out. Uh, I think it was available on Sideshow, uh, but a couple of years ago, and I saw the, um, I guess, the documentary of making it, uh, and it was a very, very classic Boris Karloff. It was great. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, cool. there you go. Sweet. Uh, let's see here. Who oh, I got an Alan. Hi, Alan. Like oh, yo, he didn't lose uh, just signed up for the Ace Volume Three. That's coming out. I'm working hard on it. That's nice, cool. And I'm very happy that we got through a show with your mic working. So knock yes. wood. Uh, but uh, yeah, knock wood. Yeah, right. Hopefully we got that solved. Uh, and then we just need to return the music. Okay. Yeah. And then, yeah. We can have a Mexican Sp Spider-Man homage. It'd be great. Yeah. <laughs> a little Mexican elf. Yeah. Alfonso. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this is a great choice, though, with Alf and uh, his uh, cat obsession. That's wonderful. Cool. All right. Well, check that out, guys. Uh, and uh, let's see who else I got here. I definitely have myself a Mr. Motion. Jason, go ahead. All right. Hello, you guys. Um, good to be back. It's been a little bit. I've been busy, but good to be back anyways. Uh, and... Uh, yeah, just head on down to my Instagram at creation.jason uh, if you want uh, some of our, our uh, merchandise on Etsy. Just there, We have t-shirts, tumblers, and even pillows and coffee cups that you can uh, purchase. And uh, yeah, it's in, the, in, the bi in, our, in my bio if you want to check that out. And uh, also if you want a commission from me, just my Gmail. Uh, or my Gmail is also uh, in my bio, uh, and uh, as long as you don't ask me anything demonic or sexual, we should be on the right page. There you so, go. There you go. So have standards. And, uh, Hear that, Aaron? So Chester right. can't. Ask, Chester can't ask for anything. I see. <laughs> I, I am a pure soul, Eric. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Also, as far as aliens go, I am technically an alien because, according to uh, the Bible, uh, we we I am to be a stranger and alien to this world. Oh, fair. That's fair. That's fair. So, right. but yeah, that's it. Uh, Rabbit, would you like to add to that? Uh, I released my song the other day. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, that's right. With Tugs Art on. Um, I'm going to release the last single in a few weeks, and then I'm going to put the album on Bandcamp in about a month. And in a couple of weeks, we're recording another seven track EP. So, yeah. Heck yeah! I'm already excited for it. I haven't even gotten the first album yet. Cool. Yeah. I prefer the newer stuff, but it's because it's newer, you know, and it's with the full sure. band. Whereas, yeah. your, your favorite project's always going to be whatever you're doing now. Yeah. Well, I'm already writing like two songs for the second album, I and mean, that's not going to be till next year. Eric, yeah, I'm listening. We need a uh, Chitara, sexy one, in full stride, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm micromanaging. Ignore me. Thank you very much, Rabbit. I uh, look forward to that. And uh, last but certainly not least, uh, Herman P. Hunter. Take us out of here. Oh, yeah. Um, okay, so, like, I have a new book out. Link is in the chat. And uh, uh, namaste, I think. Namaste. All right. Namaste. Do keep in mind one of the oldest stories that we have in the world is about a man named Gilgamesh. He was two-thirds god, and his best friend, okay. his name was Enkidu. And he was a furry. The Enki Doodle? Enkidu. Enkidu. Isn't like God being God like you either are or you're not? No, he was just a furry. I'm just making a reference that one of the oldest stories we have has a furry in it, so well, in Andrew's it. justified. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, everything Andrew does. Is <laughs> all right. Thank you all very much. And namaste on that. Later, guys.
Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. Bye everybody. God bless y'all. I will be right here. <laughs> <laughs>